sad since I'm angry. Three days and slapped at you. Did you know that people really hate that song? Yeah, um, well, you know, I'm a big fan of How I Met Your Mother. And there's an episode where Ted is just, like, dating this girl, and she's, like, actually, like, not his type at all, and he's, like, trying to find a way to break up with her. And she, like, straddles okay. him on her couch, and she starts singing that to him, and he's like, what the fuck, get the fuck off of me. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into Hugh's server, put us in self-promo, and then we can just play the game. <gasps> self-promo? Mm -hmm. No way. You're promoting yourself. Also, I don't know if that's kind of a mistake, cause, uh, cause, uh, are you recording? Yeah, we're we're live. Oh, we're live. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll. I'm gonna refrain from further comments on the topic. I don't understand why, but I haven't got... Oh, there we go. Is everything okay? I'm watching. I'm watching the stream. Hold okay. on. What the fuck did you say? Cock and bowl? <laughs> 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 Damn it, Grant. <coughs> okay. I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> uh, I, I guess not. It's real helpful, especially if you're you new to, to the mystery, mystery solving, solving business. business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my Oh my god, Grant. A lot Welcome back to the channel. And at times really scary. Oh, it's good to be back. Is it? Isn't it? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? The channel, it's in the file like called every case time file. That you make a video. And, and, and my face is here. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, and Amber's here. And you'll be on your way. Yes. Hey. Hi, Amber. Yeah, me and Gran are playing Trail of the Twister because well, we both like the game, but obviously I want to see my boy Scott Varnell. That's uh, no surprise there. Yeah, she didn't say that, but when she invited me, but we all understood what the purpose was. We all understood. We all understood. Since his team has been expected to win the one hundred million dollar grant, it's is it not? I think it's actually so fucking good. Like this game. I don't get the hate. Really good. Sinister than simple equipment. Like at all. I found a bit of a cough. So excuse me. Replacing their previous intern, Pete. I've been meaning to do this a for a bit. Leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. And you know what? And I was like, we have not been live on my channel of the in so long. And I was like, let's do it. About me to stay on top of the sabotage yeah. and the storm. The last time, was it the cry stream? I don't remember, frankly. Oh my god, with the three the... of us? Was that the last time I actually went live? Wait, I wasn't yeah. live. No, 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 no. Oh, we recorded that one. We yes. recorded it, yes. But the last time we went live together, I think was literally White Wolf. White Wolf, yes. Did we go... I can't remember. But yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Yes, it was, yes it was, because Andrew was with us too. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. I am just like, oh no, I'm... that... I started that wrong. I should not have. Anyways, Amber, I'm glad. I am not glad that you had a rough morning. I'm saying, like, I'm glad that you're here with us and we can hang out. That's what I meant. Like, I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean it like that. Um, I'm just going to stare at Scott Varnell's face for a little bit because I have the blessing to do so right now. Just look at him. Love him. Yeah. Grant, don't you, don't you uh, agree? Isn't he just lovely? Hold on. He does need to shave a little bit. I don't... I'm trying to picture him with no facial hair. I can't because, like, I just know him with the facial hair and, like, the fucking, like, white patches. Was he, like, trying to... I hate it? facial hair. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play the game. 
Do you remember when we were doing the the thing here, like the yeah and the ew? Oh yes, I remember that. <laughs> okay. Shout outs to Waverly Academy. You know what? Before Trail of the Twister, I was actually thinking, you know what? I might want to do Waverly Academy and I'll ask Grant to join me because I know he loves me and loves to do this with me. But I was like, no, I'm more of a like, I'm in a Trail of the Twister mood and I love that game. Me and Grant both love it. Well, I'll just do that one instead. And it worked out for everyone. Every everyone's yeah. happy. To be fair, I went clear to my academy too, but I do like this game a lot more. Okay, well, it's probably gonna happen anyways where I do worry that we really can at some point. I know, probably. Do you guys consider uh, Waverly to be kind of like a winterish game because of the snow on like practically like towards the end of the game? Oh, yeah. I, th I think it's kind of a winterish game. Grant, are you kind of like away from your mic? Because suddenly you got, got like quieter. I don't know what's so sudden about it. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying like you're like quieter to me. I don't know. Amber, if you have trouble hearing any of us, just let me know. Or if something's off, I'll fix it. That's a weird piece of debris. Whoa, it's filled with money. Holy fuck, I wish I could get debris that has money in it. True. Why does the debris need money? To. Dogs don't have to pay taxes. God, do you remember? I, like, I obviously you remember we were just talking about it. Because we were talking about Jameson uh, being in our server and like the rare times he's like said anything in it. And I was doing my dad's taxes for like that whole week and it was just like... The fact that I was doing someone else's taxes! Grant is quiet? Okay. I'll fix that quickly. I don't know why it's so... whatever. I should just get a microphone. Like a normal one. I'm not even... Time. I'm literally using, um... Okay, how do I... how do I do this? Is that on his profile? No. I'm just... Hey! Look at Grant's profile, everyone! That's... Hey, stop leaking our DMs. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even say anything in it. That's like bad. We we're talking about food. <coughs> no, no, no. I'm pretty sure I said like, I don't know. Amber sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I got it. Yes. I'm turning you all the way up. Maybe that'll oh, help Amber too. Iris, cameo. <gasps> Iris, you. welcome. Hi. We're playing Trail of the Twister. It, if it wasn't obvious already. And, Grant, that should fix your volume. It should. I don't know. I that turned you up, so maybe it'll go up for everyone else, too. I don't know. Iris, what's that. up? What you doing? Sorry, I'm just excited because my friends are here. Grant wasn't enough. I need more friends. You're just collecting them like toys. I don't know. Hello, Nancy. Sorry we missed you. We're out chasing. Chasing some tail. OMG, cameo with everyone in Meg's DMs. Yeah. Wouldn't you like that to be true? Whether <laughs> Did you guys notice how Lacrell was one of them? I'm not going to tell you what we talk about, but <laughs> I'm sure you noticed Lacrell. <coughs> God, my cough is still bad. I'm so sorry. I'm not even gonna finish reading this. We know what we need to do. We need to go do a quiz. Do you think I can get all of them right? Will you guys help me if I don't know um, what one of them is? Twister uh... trivia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The weather service will issue okay. what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? Um, I don't know, actually. I forget. Is it tornado alert? No. Tornado Does warning. See? Tornado warning, right? Right? Yeah, I'll go with it. I think it might be turn tornado warning. Yes! Thank you, Grant! Mwah! Thank you. Mwah. 
<laughs> How many tornadoes are recorded on average each year in a year? Oh, fuck, I knew this. You I knew this. What was it? Was it? In the United States. I think it was a thousand. I believe it was one thousand. Maybe it was eight hundred, but I think it was one thousand. No, I was right. Okay, Iris is like, I will not help you, Meg. Get your own tornado knowledge. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Tornadoes are measured using what system? Oh, I know this. It's the the F scale, right? I wonder. I think I think so. I wonder. Yes. <coughs> C D oh yeah, Amber's helping us out because Irith refuses to. The least safe place to seek shelter in a public place is a large room. Amber, please stop helping uh, this frankly cheating woman. I'm know. not how am I cheating? In preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado, tornado plan in place, and this item, a disaster kit. Wow. A disaster kit is when you have a kid and they're a disaster. That's what I remember. At least I- oh god. Yeah! Fuck yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. On average, what percentage of tornadoes each year rank as either an EF4, wind speed, gusts of oh god. This one, I'm not sure, actually. 1%, 5%, 10%, 20%. Grant? I'll be honest, no clue. Oh, I really don't want to fail this. I'm on a roll, baby. Like, I, I don't want to get one wrong now. <gasps> You're Elliot Chen? I am Elliot Chen! Help! Oh. Amber, help! Oh, I, I think I just realized she's been oh, fucking um, with me this whole time because she's saying, like, J, L, Z. Oh, sorry, Z for the American. No, 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 no. It's Z. I'm really sorry for the outburst that uh, was just happening. I am so scared. Is it A? A? She's telling me it's A. I think Amber is on to Yay! Yay! Queen! Queen shit! What causes the most injuries during a tornado? Flying debris, I know this. Amber, you're a G. You helped me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did it! I got you out of me! Holy fuck! I did it! Oh, you guys. That was something. Okay. And now I believe Debbie is gonna be like, Nancy, is that you? Oh wait, no. She's gonna be like, I'm Debbie. Wait, no, wait, whoa, 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 wait, where's Debbie? I did the quiz. Check out the cellar, finish Oh the fu oh there's I forgot that's another thing I have to do. Cause I decided to skip through the letter. All the music in this game is like great. Oh, it's so good. Okay. S is immediately next to R. That one is left of that one. That one is oh god. Okay. <sighs> no, I'm not cheating. I'm gonna give Wait. it a shot on my own. <clears throat> okay. Disgusting. Stop cheating. Where do I start? Fuck. This is embarrassing. First of all, even if I wanted to cheat, there's something wrong with my phone right now. Oh, is it because of the tornado warning? Hold 
Hold on. I think I'm gonna do... Hold on, because... And then this is... But it's not immediately next to it, it's just... Is that what- okay, so... Oh my god, this music is so fucking good, Grant. Like, when you said it... I was just like, oh my god, he's so right. Oh. That's okay, Amber, I'm not asking you to help with this one. I'm not even asking Grant. I'm just gonna do my own thing here. Nice. Good job, Amber. <coughs> I'm glad you're getting better at not helping me. I hope this is correct. Let's see. Is it is immediately next to okay? I think I got it. What the fuck? That's not it. Are you sure? <laughs> well, are you sure? Because that looks right to me. No. You dunked on. Holy shit. No! Nathan, Nathan in the chat says the answer is upside down. The answer is upside down. Hi, Nathan. How's your day? When you said Nathan, I thought like Amber's Nathan. Like, Am like Nathan is with her. But this is a different Nathan. Have you ever talked to Hugh's friend Nathan, Grant? I've uh, had the chance to... Uh catch him when Psychic was streaming Halo at one point. Oh. Okay, fuck this. I clearly don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well, that's nice. Yes, that's exactly I right. love I love to see you have romances with people, Grant. Whoa there, partner. Oh my god, I'm totally not doing this right at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, is the answer upside down? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> ha ha ha, you guys can laugh at me all you want. Okay. Well, Meg, you're a moron. Is this not right? Is it still not right? Hold on. Degree is in red. That's right. Now now I'm actually because, looking. Now I'm actually looking. Because the Grange Theater is to the left of degree. Just to, by the way. I got confused because it I thought I got it right and then also Okay. Degrees clearly right okay, listen. Oh. Clearly the two Nathans we have, like Amber's husband and Hugh's friend, you guys need to have like the ultimate final showdown of the two Nathans to figure out like who is a superior Nathan. And everyone can place their bets and then in that way we'll figure it out. Like once and for all we'll know who can only be the true Nathan. How, how does Why? that sound? I'll host this. Why? Just because I think I think violence is sometimes fun. So I I, I just I would love to watch this happen. Yeah, Meg. Violence is sometimes fun. Quote Meg 2022. Yeah. Can you believe it's 2022, by the way? Oh, you know what's funny? Is when I started cheating, like, just now, I was looking at the senior, um... I was looking at it... Fucking hell. I'm in junior. Okay. This is embarrassing. But, you guys are my friends and I know you wouldn't laugh at me. There you go. Now what? I'd better try again. Please stop. Please stop it. <sighs> what does that say? Are you? That doesn't look right to me. All right, got it. But apparently it is right. 
Wow, Meg, you really got it. You really, you really showed them. Okay, you know what? You guys might actually be right. About, like, all, all Nathans are in a cool kids club, and you guys are all superior to us. Maybe. Because from what I can tell, all Nathans that I know are very cool. So, excuse me and my uh, suggestion for bringing violence into this. Oh my god, why is my work calling me? Oh, should I answer? Mm, yes, that would be the Fuck. proper... Hello? Hey, Starla, how are you? Hello? Hello? I am good, what's up? Okay guys, let's all scream now and tell them she's like smoking or something. Wow well, Meg, stop smoking weed! Oh, um, are you sure? Like you don't need anything? <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever you say goes. Uh, so what would my next shift be then? Three to eight? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, two to eight. Okay, yeah, sure, that's fine with me. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, good night. It's it's like 1 p.m. and I told her good night. That's how awkward I am on the phone. <laughs> Not Nathan saying I'm fired. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. No, Meg, what he means is that you were on fire after solving oh. that puzzle. Great job, Meg. So, awesome. <coughs> what happened was, um, they told me not to come in today, so I don't have work today. Uh, they told me to come in tomorrow. I'm just gonna be working a longer shift tomorrow. But, like, okay, I have more time to hang out with you guys and stream, so hallelujah, I guess. I was so scared. I was like, I'm gonna have to end the stream. They're gonna call me, and they want me to go in now. And she's like, Oh no! Like, come, come, come tomorrow instead. You'll be a better help tomorrow. Just come in earlier. Like, and you don't have to come today. And I'm like, Holy shit! All right, I guess. Okay. I'm still confused though because how do I get Debbie to? Still have to do that. Finish the fight. Oh my god, I didn't even. I got distracted by the phone call. I forgot I actually didn't even finish this. <sighs> oh my god. And then hopefully after this, Debbie will show up. What even mm, is a Debbie? Looks like garbage. Don't need this. Reminder that Debbie is short for Deborah or something like that. Like, right? Yeah, I can't think of any other name where Debbie would be short for. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh my God! Mice. It's a mouse. I tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. Ah, there's Debbie. Debbie. Nancy, is that you? Yes, that's me. Scott wants to meet you. Ah! Be right there. <gasps> <laughs> Nancy Drew, you made it. I'm Scott ah! Bonnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. Christ. <laughs> it's him, the hottest guy ever. Sorry, Grant, but I love you, but but Scott, like, fuck me. Look at him. Just like, look at him. If Nathan is still here, I guess it's uh time to give him some context. I have a huge crush on this guy. Oh, by the way, Nathan, if you're still here, this is Hugh's least favorite Nancy Drew game that I'm playing. And that, like, astonishes me. I'm like, how? Scott Varnell. He's so hot. Like, how dare you? But anyways, let's talk to him, finally. Are yeah, it's not Ryan Reynolds. You're right to? about that. You'll be recording to Deb. <laughs> but make no mistake. I call the shots around here. Ever Guys, I think Scott likes well, me. Well, yeah. 
As I was driving up to the farm, because he, was well, Debbie was like totally being a wing woman there, there, and she was like, Scott well, wants to be you. Peachy. We spend so, all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. The jokes aside, someone actually thing. really actually ships Scott and Nancy, and, that's gonna be all she and they've written so and many fanfiction of them. It's the same person writing hundreds of fanfiction for Scott uh, and Nancy that I will never well, understand. You're here, maybe our luck. Because Scott belongs with me. Two things you need to do. Is it right the same the person that's in the voice chat right now? Preparedness at the junior high school next week. So put a sample disaster. <sighs> Why does everyone ask me that if question? I have never in my life written fan fiction for Nancy and Scott. Ever. Okay. It's not me. Okay. What else would you like me to do? Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to go. <coughs> so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. No, I, I, I didn't read them all. I read two of them because I was curious. One of them was, like, super fucking spicy, like, not safe for work. And the other one was, like, really short, but it was, like, it's actually kind of funny. Like, Scott was having, like, a temper tantrum, and then he, like, stormed out at the farmhouse, and Nancy was, like, chasing after him. She was like, Scott, Scott, wait! And then she stopped him, and she, like, grabbed the sides of his face and was like, Look me in the eye. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. And then he relaxed in her embrace, and then, uh... Oh my god, I'm totally exposing myself here that I actually read this and remembered what <laughs> happened. <laughs> Anyways. No, I I re that's actually what how it happened too though. Like she was like, no, I'm Scott, ready. Scott waits when he was like running away. <laughs> Meg, uh, answer <laughs> truthfully. What'd you think? Want what me to mean? answer something truthfully? What? Are you excited? Yes. Terrified? What? Did it make you want to go home? On the what? inside, Actually, that are you like, was the coolest thing I've I ever wish seen that was me. Of course! Yes! I wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm. <laughs> I think I, I am the one person Between capable of me, changing Scott Barnell. I think I could fix him. Students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record. Does he not have, like, the hottest fucking voice faces. ever? Like, holy fuck. I'm so glad I'm doing this today. I got the God. Best the best. Students who really cared. Like Debbie. But those days are over. That must really be Also, Grant, are you going to give me a warning when your headphones <sighs> fuck off? 18? Just so Only I don't talk to myself? Kids, don't talk to me about disappointment yes. until you've okay. lived long enough to experience it firsthand. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway... Good news is, it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. Every night. So... Squeeze me. Grant, ha Gr Grant you has a hot voice for sure. We've talked about this before. Sorry, Grant. You're flattering me. Yes. Uh, I accept the apology. <laughs> I complimented you, and then I apologize for complimenting you. No, that was like... No, you... you Fucking hell. Okay. It, it goes like this. Grant? We have seven, we have seven Scott, viewers, Meg. We have seven viewers? Oh, that's fucking sick. Okay, everyone yeah, loves the good. Trail of the Twister music, I swear. Like, like, even if people don't like the game, they can't tell me they don't like the music. It's very nice. I don't know who everyone is, but I am everyone. <laughs> if, uh, anyone's curious. Nancy, hi! You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. Remember my fucking Debbie cosplay, Grant? Oh, you 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 did a pretty good Debbie, I guess. You're the one who'll be all I did. Pretty much. All I did was put my hair into a ponytail, and you were like so disgusted by it because I know how much you hate ponytails. I do not like them, but I don't know. Are you still in school? You can't even really see that her hair is a ponytail. It just kind of looks like it's yeah. It's very flat too. Like when you can see it, it just, just goes straight down. Like she needs to use some better shampoo, I guess. <sighs> you must yeah. be pretty easy going. She just I've looks just like how to read Scott and deal with his I don't know, idiosyncrasies. Stalker. That's all. 
like <laughs> <all> <laughs> the malfunctions we've been experiencing. He has the ponytail too. If that I recall. Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, as for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Holy Pretty fuck, what do I have to do again? Because the guy is so hot, like, I don't know what the fuck uh, he's doing. Sirens. Exactly the siren. Oh, man. right, right. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room. And that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the Oh game. my god, I'm so excited to play Phasmophobia. To well, thanks for hopping in, Nathan. It's always a pleasure. Wisely. Have a great rest Nathan. of your day. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished That's the fun. filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Fix the oh. sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just what? another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. I have always thought there was something so... Like, it doesn't sit right when she- the way she says Hawaii. Like, did you, do you notice when she says Hawaii? It's like, Hawaii! Yeah, well, like, she's a weirdo. I, mean. <laughs> I found this box out front when I arrived. Hawaii. I thought maybe I better turn it do in. Do you wanna oh. go straight to there must Hawaii? There be a couple in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here, so Iris, the tornado um, season, I found Debbie out was talking about the Healy Healy Research Center in Hawaii, but the way she said job. Hawaii was so like weird. The sound and she goes like well, Hawaii, which means when I'm not here or out in the I don't field, know. I'm there. If that's even how she said it, but sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. Okay, yeah, so the siren chart and... What's wrong with overalls? What the fuck? Overalls are so good. They're called overalls for a reason. You can put them over all. Like, you can wear anything you want underneath it, you know? Yeah. That's it for now. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. No problem. Okay, let's let's, that let's examine so that ponytail for a second. Her hair looks so dead. Hmm. Oh, Debbie. She does look kind of dead inside, honestly. <laughs> okay. Woo, siren okay. chart. No, oh, you you're on your own here. Sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, you're gonna cheat, you cheater. No, you I'm cheater. not. No, I'm not. You cheater. No, I'm you not. Cheater. Why you can't cheater. I even fucking grab them? Do I have you to? Cheater. Okay, hold on. Bam, 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 bam. No, our, our, our viewership dropped all the way to three because of Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> Stopped talking to Scott, everyone fucked off. <laughs> like, they were like. <laughs> <coughs> God. Sorry. My cough is. Least just favorite puzzle nominee. So nasty. I think this puzzle is kind of stupid, but I wouldn't call it my least favorite from this game. Maybe I would. Not gonna lie. Wait, no, that doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That probably goes there. Bam, 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 bam. I actually want the purple one. For some reason, I can't fucking grab it. There you go. Because I think that goes there. And then. Ow. This has got to go here. Oh, are you okay, Grant? 
No, my leg died. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm dear. Like, uh, what What is her name? Jane Penthorn? I had a leg, but it died. I had a leg, uh, but it died. <laughs> oh, Grant, you're so funny. This a lot of video game. Really nice. Wait, that doesn't go there. Does that go here or here? Wait, that does go there. It must. It must. Bam, ba, bam. All right, that's how it should look. All right, Nancy. Congrats. Okay. I'm gonna go take a picture of the quiz, just in case I'm like at pause and I forget what I need to buy. Where's the emergency planning uh, disaster kit? Okay. I, I believe I believe it's because Meg has played this game a lot. Oh, so. I literally had a few things already memorized, and then it's really not that difficult because for what I didn't know, I literally just started large and went to smallest, and I was just filling in the little like uh, little gaps that needed to be filled in. It's not. Like started large. It's it's either go big or go home, you know. Yeah, she went. Big Let's take home. a picture. Okay, everyone sing it with me. Look at this photograph. Every time it makes me laugh. I didn't know there were words after the look at this photograph. Sorry. So it, did you think that Nickelback song was just the look at this photograph and then it's just done? It was by Nickelback? No, it was by Dimeback. <gasps> no. I mean, yeah. That's me trying to be funny like you. Oh my god, a tire swing. Nice. Call Crawlmeister. Oh, sure, I can do that. Ooh, wait, phone, phone gotta change. Background, uh... Don't do Hardy Boys, please. No, I won't, I won't. Don't worry about that. Top 10 guards? <laughs> guards? I'm leaving it just for the- just for that. And the color. Yes. I'll let Irith pick the color. Irith? Cause I'm not even sure- I guess Amber isn't here anymore, unfortunately, but... Irith. Give me a color. I think it's- I think it's only me and Irith. Oh, that's sad. Purple. Purple! purple. She says purple. Okay. Boy, it's because Debbie ruined the fucking mood and everyone was like, God damn it, Debbie, and everyone left. Come on, people, let's focus here. Oh, just a moment. This is why we can't have nice things in the workshop. <laughs> All right, go ahead, caller. Hi, it's Nancy. Do I know Nancy? Don't plug that into there. It's Nancy Drew. It sounds like you're a little busy. Is this a good time? You're nope. Well, it was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Oh, all right. Wait, hang on. We need to talk. Just teasing you, Indy. Mind if I call you Indy? Indy, I've been waiting for your call. If you mix those two beakers, I'm going to have to switch insurance companies again. I trust you've been kicking up dust and giving those jokers some serious what for out there in Twister Country. Not exactly sure yet. I was hoping you could give me a little more information. Shoot. All right, Grant. What do you want to ask PG Krollmeister? Um. Any idea on who would want to sabotage your machine? Do you have any idea who would want to sabotage your machines? And why? Wanted That's why I brought you on board, ND. I need you to. Uh, Terrence! The arc welder is not. Oh, don't apologize, Amber. You're good. 
I gotta run, Indeed. I did you miss you, though. And scare me up some clues. Call me back whenever you need, and if things aren't too hectic at the lab, I'll help you out as best I can. Do you want me to keep talking to him, or should I go do other stuff and then have him call me back later? Ask the first thing. Ask the first thing. Yeah? yeah? I was wondering, why are you so concerned about tornadoes? You must have a lot of other things to worry about. Truth is, I never have been one to worry, but darn if these storms don't have my socks twisted in a bunch, something serious. See, Andy, most things in the world can be tamed, or at least tricked into behaving the way you want. Not weather. Ever since a tornado tore through my home, I've been obsessed with figuring out what makes those twisters tick. Pretty sure I built the machinery to do the job. That's why I need you to make sure nothing too funny is going on. Once I know I've made sure that no one else is ever caught off guard by a storm again, then I can move on to the next project. Until then, I just can't. People really don't talk about him. Right? Like, like, yeah. when do people ever talk about this phone contact? Never. Can you believe that people don't talk about this guy, but they say, Oh, I really like Marcus from Captive Curse. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, great. That's a big goal. Maybe a little too big. Go Andy, I expected I knew exactly you. what you were going to say. I was mocking you that whole time. Ones. Anyone can make a little goal and reach it. Who cares about that? If people only set reasonable goals, we would have only walked near the moon and not on it. Why are you so concerned about these machines? Now, there's no such thing as something that is just a machine. Every Krollmeister product is a work of art. I agree. Tell me about it. I couldn't agree more. You're not a yes man, are you, ND? Yes men are dangerous. They get you thinking you're the greatest thing on earth, and the next thing you know, you're making the dumbest decisions that ever could be made. I'm not. Grant, do you honest. just think Marcus is All overrated, right, or do you genuinely what just not like him as a phone contact? Cool I think he's boring. It was a little too what? powerful for the job. <laughs> well, shoot. Add diplomacy to your list of skills, ND. And what else can I do for you? I don't understand that. I don't think that. he's overrated necessarily. I think he's just like over talked about. I don't know. I don't know anyone else that talks understand. about him though. Like Cheryl was the first person I would talk to about Marcus though. Because I think Captain Rest Curse is East kind of Cheryl. underrated. Do you know why someone would want to lure mice into their house? Is this one of those sound of one tree clapping? Hey! hey! Good at those. No, it's Shadow of Judgment. Welcome. I was wondering uh, when you'd arrive. Like you've got a reverse Pied Piper situation. What's that? Who knows? Just made it up. <laughs> I'd keep an eye out for something like that, though. And get a cat. <laughs> get a cat. Aw, you guys know how I was like away for like a whole week. And then I came home, and my dog, like, usually my dog, like, we would leave the house for, like, just an hour. We'd come back, and he would, like, act like he hasn't seen us in ten years. I guess that's a dog thing to do. But, uh, anyways, I was gone for a week. You know, I was staying with my grandparents for a bit. I come back home. I walk into my house, and my dog has, like, no fucking reaction. Like, he, like, forgot I existed, I suppose. And I was like, okay, fuck you then. But my cats... My cats came running into my room, and they were like, Oh my god, it's Doris! She's home! My beloveds! I love my cats so much. They missed me, and I guess maybe, like, I have that in my head, and maybe they were just, like, it was just, it was just a coincidence they wanted to come into my room, but, like, let me have that moment. Like, let me just fucking believe that my cats just love me that much, I guess. Have a good day! Call me as soon as you learn anything new. Please and you didn't miss much, Psychic. We are- we have not really done anything except simp over Scott Varnell, have Debbie ruin the mood, and make everyone in the chat go away because Debbie's boring, and we just talked to Krollmeister, and I have to go to pause. No, I don't, because um, I forgot- I, I, I forgot- I forgot fix, something. Fix the agricultural system, too. Oh, whatever. Unless, um, do I have to go grab the... No, I, I, I just go shopping. Right? I think so. Yeah, I don't have to grab anything. I just I just go. Okay. So we are going to pause. Alright, team. Of, uh, 
All right. What vehicle am I taking? Pink one. The pink one? Yeah. Can we can we let our viewers decide? The fuck are you being selfish for? Okay, viewers, decide. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell a story. Sure, I uh, love stories. It's also about cats and dogs. I used to know a guy who had like a huge dog, and uh, he named his dog uh, Kitties. And so whenever you would hear a uh, dog bark like on the voice chat, he would say, "Oh, Kitty, stop!" <laughs> it was pretty funny. Ah. Whoa! Oh, there you go. And he would be like, oh, it's just my kitties. Like, I don't know why, that's so, uh, funny. Howdy! Come on over here and be friends! Aw, oh, man. That's more like Shout out to Hugh boss. Miller, the guy could do an amazing paw impression. I want to oh, hear yeah. it again so bad. But the guy will not, like, make that video. Like, he keeps saying he will. I'm still waiting for that impressions video. Grant, <laughs> you weren't even there. <laughs> You went- you- you weren't even there when he did an Abdullah impression. Holy fuck. What like... Fuck? You, okay. You need to hear this. Like, I, I'm gonna bother him about it when we're done. I'm gonna message him and be all like, Get this done! We need this in our lives! I take it your pa? That's me! That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. That it's not your real name? Well, ain't you, Miss Smarty Boots. Little Miss Gal from up north who's helping out tornado chases from the Canute. How'd you know that? <laughs> Not bad for an old codger, huh? Not bad for an old codger. I know all sorts of stuff about you. I even know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's... 523-555-4399. How'd you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, that they did. Debbie. She told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Oh Thank my god, dual wielding thingies? I love Prince Zuko so. from the Fire Nation. I'm the emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. <laughs> they be filling in the way things work around here yet? Not really, no. You can do got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. In fact, go ahead and take it. You could use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Man. What a fucking icon. And, and just like, look at, like, look at this. In Pa we trust. That's so awesome. Right? The, wish, the, the guy is wish, the guy is insane. In a good way. I I I'd love it if pa her interactive nice uh, salt stuff like this. It would be well, so good. Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just gonna say the same thing. Y'all take care now. Okay, budget thirty dollars, I think. If I remember correctly, we take the yellow water, and then. God, I love shopping in this game. Do we the need music bleach? In this, uh, store is uh, usually pretty cool. I think we need bleach, right? Yes, I believe you need bleach. Bleach, like the anime. Oh, it, it, it isn't there a new bleach coming out? Is so, there? Yeah, I, I believe there's a new bleach anime is gonna come out soon. Whatever. I haven't watched it since I was like 12. Oh my god, I, I was gonna say the same thing. I, like, Bleach is one of the first animes I've watched. It was so long ago. Like, I should probably rewatch it, but I've actually been meaning to rewatch um, another one. Have you guys ever seen Tokyo Ghoul? Oh, I, I've seen like the first five episodes and then I kind of dropped it. Not gonna lie. I, I haven't. Um... Like, I don't think it's one of the best animes of all time. I really just kind of do think it's more of like a guilty pleasure kind of thing. I still enjoy watching it. But, uh... I can see why you would kind of just stop watching it after a, just a few episodes, though. Like, I like I get it. It's not, like, the best. From thing. what I've heard, people who actually like Tokyo Ghoul, I've heard that the manga was a lot better. 
I am not doing this correctly. I only have six fucking dollars left. There needs to be a granola in here. Okay. Granola, these nuts. That looks like everything, though. Is sugar here? Yes. Do you need sugar? I grabbed okay, sugar. There you go. I, I think, think I've got here. everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Cha-ching. I believe I've used this uh, this this exact sound effect in one of my videos. Really, the, uh, like the exact the... one? Yeah, the ching. Okay. What's going on there, Nancy? Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact. If there ever was one, nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits, when the world goes dark and quiet. All you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play Fun. about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town. I don't think that was a singular I granola bar. Percy, I'm pretty sure that was yes. like Township. There is first library. A box of like multiples. Well, no small thing. That's exactly right. That yeah. sounds Unless Amber, you're talking about something else that's huge. Gonna be. Like Scott. You know, Scott's... Open nine, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll Evil. try to save you ticket. Uh, yes. So do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I have heard tell of. Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. What's funny is that, um, I know you're saying stop it, Meg, because it's, it's funny you're telling me to stop and that's, like, my name everywhere. But, um, I'm using my Stop It, Meg account to kind, of, to kind of spectate the live chat and look at what you guys are saying. And you saying Stop It, Meg summoned me, kind of, like, my account, and it's, like, highlighted. Because, <laughs> look, I'm gonna say hello through my Stop It, Meg account. <coughs> So you've seen a tornado? Of course I have. Pretty much everybody I know has. <laughs> you research types and all your meters and senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Why were you even subscribed watch. to that account anyways, Grant? You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across I'm the subscribed to Doris Charming on YouTube.com to Why? see your You can't go after it. You can't make it put everything what back. You, you can't even get even with it. Because it's just gone. What, you, what did I do? Stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. What? Why do you unsubscribe to me? What did Sounds I do? Like you're talking from personal experience. Oh, I can experience. I can subscribe to you again if you want me to. But like, why would you unsubscribe in the first what place? It? What did I do? Good seeing you again. Don't let them canoots work you too hard. Okay, I subscribed. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Did that? Did that? can check that out till it's done. So we didn't look at the newspaper thingy that tells us what happened to Ma. So like, it, for this playthrough in particular, Nancy isn't exactly an asshole for bothering Paul with the questions. Just don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. Okay. No, no. Um, I'm Just saying talk. like when like you can still ask him even if you already know, and that's just like so low of Nancy. But that's bullshit. Fuck Nancy. Yeah. That's even worse than asking uh, the Shimizu family about their mother. Whatever. The uh -huh. that is supposed to be here seems to be That's missing. That's it. <laughs> Lewis is up to something. Lewis, I'll be right there. Once again, rest in peace, but uh, 
Cheryl used to do a great impression of that. Did she really? Why don't I remember that? Oh, it's in the video, if you recall. Which she one? Was, like, um, I believe it's the dialogue video. Oh, uh, I we, think we she just, the, I the, think she she did a Nancy impression, right? Like, Lewis is up to yes, something. Yes, yes. That's what yeah, she, yeah, yes, she did. Yes, yes, now I remember. Lewis is up to something. That's why I remember it mostly. Uh... I'll be right there. Holy fuck, the amount of quotes from the fucking series that I just, like, have in my head. Oh, sorry! Really? Quote a thing from the series. Say that again? Do a random quote from the series that you have in your head. Um... It's a fiasco, indeed! <laughs> well, just came in. Give me a hand over here, would you? Uh, sure. God, what's that other one he says that, that Cheryl loved, where he says, like, he... I just about coughed my brains out on the table! <laughs> Is that what he says, too? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh my god. Disgusting. Well, Who'd you I've expect, never fixed an LED fairy? display before? Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. I love that quote from Sinclair. Matter of fact, I love how he introduces himself by his last name. Screen. Views are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they numbered from Do you often, eight? like, yeah. die psychic you when do. you do that? Because, like, I try to avoid the cars because I don't want to die. Directions. Including it's very hard to do it though. Like yep. every road is a one way. We like doesn't matter which way you're driving. We have to share the road with everyone else. It's just so. like ridiculous. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. Okay, should I yeah. just fucking play around with this? I guess. One and eight should be in the middle. Is all I remember. Like right in the middle. Yep. Sure. Put seven on the. T no, no, no. Eight. No, I know, I know, I know. Okay, now I guess swap six and five, and I think you're golden. No, because then four and five are together. Oh, okay. How about you swap four and three? Oh no, then three and. And then swap uh, three and five. Huh? I Grant, yep. the screen says it's initializing. And I'm I am here. not How's going to lie to you. Hmm? You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Maybe no. I should I just keep that to myself. My never mind. Miss. Again, I appreciate the help. I was going to compliment you, but then I was like. But then I'll have to apologize again for complimenting him, and I just- I wanted to save you the trouble. Uh, apology accepted. This puzzle is easy. Right now I'm fixing the car the fella you were replacing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. That okay with you? Yep. I like fixing stuff. I like, I like keeping busy. Stuff. So this here is the perfect job for me. Plus I'm learning a whole lot about Twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Yeah, I do like that video, uh, Psychic. It was a funny video. No! <gasps> oh my god. Is that Thanks why they call you Chase? Because you chase tornadoes? That... Do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? Call... Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. It has been since before the day I was born. Before the why day he was so born? so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? <laughs> think so much... Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person and all, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. Do you Amber, know a way I could earn some pennies? 
<laughs> Over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting. If if now, he were I a dog, used till it's been I can see him being right. a golden retriever, but at the same time I can see bright, him being like something and pop a beagle. Of course, since wiring them wrong just makes more work for me. You make too many mistakes, not only pay you some of. If what Scott Varnell was a dog, I think hands do. down he'd be say? like a German Shepherd. It just, it just makes sense, right? Couldn't you just give me the paw pennies? Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? Huskies are way too, like, overly friendly, I think, for a Scott to be a husky. I think, like, Scott still has yeah. that, like, grump kind of, like... How do you like working He's a with grouchy Scott? grouch. Other than the fact yeah. that you're yornier than a never ridden bull in a buck and shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together? I like him fine. Got this sick sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kinda spooky sometimes. <laughs> Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? Oh, Not a chance. He's got this real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever gonna come his way. Sad but true. Does everyone on the team <gasps> Oh my god, Metallica play? reference! Metallica reference! Really, no, don't much care. Hey! The truth to truth. Um, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was so I'm sorry. My my James impression made me laugh, and even though I'm the one that <laughs> I'm the one that takes you there. Hey! What was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Recently Chase totally looks like the Metallica too, though. That's that canon. That was because his car run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. You know it's sad but true. Grant, please don't leave because I'm singing. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two by four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. All right. Dr. Madrazo. No, 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 no. It's just the opposite. This may come as a shock, but Harrison J. Bison's move was never meant to imply that students are being... Ugh, I don't know why I'm reading this. What the fuck is he even saying? Dr. Madrazo. This place could really use a cat. We've been through this. Wow. Okay. That's not right. It was. Was it not right? It was right. And oh. the right one too. Yep. Thank you. Same thing. Uh, but uh, the diagonal is the wrong way. There. Thank you, Grant. Okay, I'm done. All done. <coughs> Fine. Go get what you got coming. I want to go actually do stuff in the game. It's been like an hour, and it's still the first day, so. Those are super easy, though. They're fun. I, they're really fun. Okay. Oh, Penny. I can tell you how to do this if you want me to. I don't fucking know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. See, how come this doesn't work? Like, for example, like, what's wrong with this? Because 
because the one on the bottom is then the same diagonal line as the one in the third from the bottom row. It is? Yes. Oh? Something I didn't notice until you told me. What was that? What on earth was that? What in blazes are you doing? Sneaking around here like a common thief, interrupting one of my sessions? I knew there was something unsavory about your phantasmic pulsations. Well, soon they will no longer be my problem, but the sheriff's. Something is still not right. Oh yeah, whoops. Same diagonal as the one two rows up from the- Oh my god! Fucking hell. Also, the one in the bottom and the one second from the top are in the same diagonal. Yeah. Well... I can't go there. No, that can't go there either. You're almost there. Am I? Yep. This, uh, no, 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 yes, no. Okay, move the bottom one, one row up, and you're done. But then where do I- Waste one, waste the one that's, uh... <gasps> no way! You did it. That's insane. Frosty? Again? Alright, Mouse. This house isn't big enough for the both of us. It's it's quite a big house. This that house isn't it. Mouse wow. for Scott's both. Got you doing a lot of work lately. I don't think we've met. You... Frosty, Hi, I'm Frosty the snowman, As you can he's wearing a purple shirt. I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing and the car was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff. Then quarter-sized. Then golf ball I'll never sized, forget when me and Kaylee sudden, were talking. The windshield and we realized that we were at Niagara Falls. The of a fist and then we were like, oh my god, like another, we could have seen each other. Turns but we didn't know each other then. the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punch the what? Aw, shout out to Kaylee. <laughs> HP means Try high precipitation, lots of rain. And a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? 
Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some Amatis clouds. And what happened? I had just realized I, I have to do running around right in this game. Oh boy. Thorns just about took yes. my arm off when I went to grab it. Crack's like, yeah. And I'm like, no. <coughs> have you ever been, you know, <coughs> seriously injured? I've said it nah. before. I like the puzzles in this game. But then I'm still relatively new to the storm chasing biz. I joined the team last year after their photographer well. quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. I need to get going. Take care. I love the confidence. I hope he dies. Oh my god, Grant. I don't know. She could. Maybe. <laughs> he could. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you first thing in the morning. Can I say good night to my beloved? Hello, Nancy. What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining mm, I'll be right back. funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. All right, chat room. How's the day been going? Did my friends miss me? Meg, I have an unfortunate thing to tell you. I don't think anyone else is in the chat. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Fine by me. Did you win the steering competition with Scott? No. Mm. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? I guess it does sound pretty dumb, doesn't it? Everyone on this team has his quirk, so that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? <laughs> Nobody's that mental. That's it for now. Have fun! I think you'd be surprised, Debbie. Did that. Did that. <sighs> Did that. What about mice? Check. It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. Oh no. Oh no. I hope it's not Lou. <laughs> Man, that ice stream was the fucking best. 
It really Sorry. was. Terrible game, but the fact that we were playing it together and still making those memories, like, it, it, it probably is the best we've done. I think you're... No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then do the other one. Yeah. Wow. No, do the one. Yeah. Oh, Grant, this is it? Oh, Joy, this is it. Oh, come on. That's not right. Okay. Oh my god. I'm fucking up somewhere. <gasps> you are? Supposedly. But I should also probably be working on the blue. I think you should, you can do the blue, like, right? Or can you? I guess so you can. what I just did is I put blue and red, and that's not, um... That's not what you're supposed to do. Definitely not. I'm fucking everything up. Ugh! That looks right. Oh! No, I am Woo! As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. I like it this a lot, actually, I yeah. To. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> you're right. I would like to take care can't... of Scott. No, Mary. you're right. It's time to get rid of him. You know it, partner. Hello, PK. Now's not a very good time to talk. Not a good time? Hardly. Indy, one of my assistants just showed me footage taken by those storm chasers you're with, and they get way too close to the storm. You don't need to be getting that close to the storm. That's why I invented those machines. Okay, I'll be sure to keep my distance. Oh, good. Uh, not that I was worried that you would. <laughs> not that I was worried at all, actually. I'm, uh, I'm not the type to worry. Now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little He's so fucking hot. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. Hey, Nancy, the first thing you say that way, when people ask you that question, else, they, they want to know if they're attractive. Like, no one like that's like trusts him. everyone subconsciously needs to know. Isn't that right, Grant? Make like, sure to keep a close eye on that am, are, are I right? Of course, but, but like when when someone asks suspect. you right no well good Don't if you're asking back. someone Tell about someone else you know, and you're uh, like oh Frosty what's this scott character like you're subconsciously thinking you're wondering are they attractive it's just a thing right like no. you're just kind of wondering no. like are they come on no. no come on no come on i think you're just subconsciously wondering if scott's attractive that's uh, I, what I think. I, what do you mean? I know he is. Like, what do you mean? He and Debbie yeah. are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Well, if I were asked, plotting. How, how so? what, what's the Scott yeah, Varnell character like? Talking. I would say they were he's so hot. Like, so like, that's the first thing I would say. The and then the other and person would be like, got it. You stay so they're attracted. That tells me a lot about that person. And then they'd be like, 
Meg, you're fired. Fired for, for, for what? Uh, I mean, you're Don't on fire, me. as in attracted. Oh! <laughs> Okay, let's start taking pictures. I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw that I was in finger guns at you. We've got a lot of different formations to spot. Shoot me. I agree. Wait, why why did we come back? Don't forget me. Don't forget him. Cuz I didn't move? Cuz you forgot him. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best <laughs> place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. Is it this way? I think so. I was watching the replay, and you were just pushed back by some car that was driving Really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny! It's a really insane. No. Am I going the right way? I'm not really paying attention. I guess I am. I think. He said windmill, so... This will help you identify the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, we'll move <coughs> This will help you identify how much... My boss, for all I know, was watching the stream and she was like, Doris is having so much fun and this is such a good Nancy Drew game. I'll just tell her to come to work tomorrow. Even though I work seven hours tomorrow. Woo! But I be making no. that money. I can get everyone's Christmas presents. No. What? No. Christmas is not even out yet. Oh, Grant. The chaos in December when you go Christmas shopping, it's best to get that shit done in November. I'm telling you. No. I want to make it back Christmas to the... in December. Oh. Pardon, pardon. Oh god. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not so fast. Yeah, that's why it's called December. The C in December. Can't check that off yet. for chaos. Did that. Wait, why am I back? Was I not supposed to Oh god. Uh -oh. oh my god, am I- Because you were dying, man. Was I supposed to take a picture on my phone of it? I think so. Who cares? I think but this I... is for the medal, anyway. But I can't check it off my task list. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go take a picture, because I feel like I, I, I need to go take a picture of it. So, let's go back. <laughs> Go down. Oh my god. Wow, Grant. Yeah, call Ned. <laughs> That's done. Ah, I didn't take upload. a picture. Now we need to upload the photos on Frosty's computator. It's my right of way, you stupid truck! Oh Jesus! <laughs> what a video game! I think you're going the wrong way. I totally but... am going the wrong way. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Okay. It should be upload and not download, but fine. That's done. Oh, you did everything. Unhinged. What's up? 
I better get to work. Have fun. I think you should talk to Froster. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you or first thing in the just, morning. Or go or to just bed. Go to sleep. Don't forget to talk to Scott earlier. No! I didn't say good night. Damn it! All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Hello? Who's there? Fuck Hello? me. Look at that ass. <laughs> I wish I could get him in that position. Look into that in the morning. Good morning. Well, what did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty, those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. But you're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're gonna have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. I guess. I know it's not the most glamorous work, but you'll be a real hero to those little guys. Scott, I'm so sorry. I was so scared by the tornado, I completely forgot about you. Nancy, hi. Look, uh... Holy fuck, Debbie like... tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around <laughs> here a few attaboys every now and then. So, I just wanted to say you did a pretty fair job driving during oh the chase yesterday. Oh my god. Yesterday. It's, like, it's like he knows I have a praise kink. Oh. Ooh. Shut up. It's mean. Thank you. Well, let's not get caught. All I did was thank you, but... I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, let's when not you're get driving cocky. a steady downpour, Well, maybe I want to get cocky. You should always... Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and I'm sick of it. So if you were wondering what your next job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Mon Pa store. Just get it done, okay? That's actually a pretty good joke that has come for now from Trail of the Twister. <laughs> hey there. I'm supposed to relocate those prairie dogs. How do I do that without hurting them? By using the handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented, won't hurt one single hair on their fur little heads. At least it won't after I replace this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well, then get yourself over to Mom Paul's and trade this tube in for one that's a bigger size. I'll set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. So, Grant. Anything else on your mind? Do you have a Christmas list? <laughs> Wait, do you even celebrate Christmas? No. <laughs> you don't. No, I do not. Well, do you have a New Year's list? <laughs> list of what? Of things you want for the New Year? No, not really. Uh, all right. I'll let you go. Hey man, like you you're are. you're on the right track. Like New Year's is a far better holiday than Christmas, anyways. I love New Year's. True. Okay, Grant. I think our audience fucked off again. Which car am I taking to Mom? Pause. Hey, Amber's here, probably. Is Amber uh, here still? I hope so. Just haven't seen her in a the bit. The blue one. The blue one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, 
if it ain't my favorite customer. I need a mousetrap that will allow me to catch mice instead of kill them. Do you sell anything like that? Sure don't, but just so happens I got something like that. Right over there in the museum. I'll even let you borrow it. Long as you do a little something for me first. You bet. You can update the tornado display on ah, the over there. Just move the stuff on it around till it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and such. Until it correctly compares that scale to the new one. You know, the enhanced Vegeta scale. EF1, EF2, and EF3, and the like. The scale they switched over to a couple years back. You might have to do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? No problem. Atta girl. All right, since you're doing this, I'm gonna recharge my headphones. Okay. Uh, see ya, stream Meg's alone for now. For now. Well, I have no one to talk to right now. It's very sad. It's a sad time. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I think that's the next one. Is it the... Wait, I might have fucked that up. Did I? Oh, oh, okay. Right. Don't keep me in suspense. It's, uh, been, uh, nothing special to report now, I guess. Nothing to report? Nothing at all? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, oh, sure. It's been a slow week, so. Not even any good gossip about Scott's team? Any new blunders I can take back to the guys? I know it can't be smooth sailing over there these days. I mean, come on. No, 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 uh, very smooth sailing with Scott's team is what I always say, but, uh, just remember, I, I got a lot to do in the store. Better get to that. You just grab anything you need now. Take some candy on the way out, too. Don't me. Okay. See you around, I guess. Well, congratulations, Nancy. From what I've seen, you got that Vegeta display set up just perfect. You're welcome. So go ahead and help yourself to that mousetrap. Y'all earned it.
That's out of my price range. Okay, so I need money. <clears throat> Just as I feared. Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. I need a bigger tube for a vacuum. Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Vacuum. Sure, as long as you do a little something for me. What's that? Head over the snack aisle. You can update the display I got set up over there. Sure. I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. Why is my eye itchy? God damn it, Grant. That's not gonna work! And I think this is Grant's, uh... Oh, Grant is in the chat. I was gonna say... What was I gonna say about you? Oh my god, I forget, because I saw you and I was like, Oh, you're still here. Fuck, I keep forgetting this thing is actually huge. Fuck! Okay. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Nope, 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 nope. I did it! Woohoo! What can I do for you, little lady? I finished up the candy display. That a girl. Here. Thanks. Now let's try doing the 
Um, what should I name this? Grant charging his thing. Congratulations, Grant. Your name is in my save file. some money so if people want to like trade their actual money for paw pennies is that what paw does because he can't just like give them out to whoever like nancy is kind of like a special guest i guess you would say i don't know Trapping mice. Hmm. Oh no, that's not what I. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. <sighs> All right. I ate one by accident. I better make sure to fill all of the traps. Make sure you catch all of them. Yes, Scott. Anything for you. Because I love you. Should do it. I got him. Well, finally. Now take him outside and dump him. The spring house out on Old Orchard Road. That should be far enough away. Let him go there. You got it. That's all the way and fucking over there. Is it? Yes, it is. Whoopsies.
Oh my god. I could actually die. Aha! But I did not. Okay. That's done. That's done. Check. Check. Hey there. I went to pause and got a bigger tube for that prairie dog vacuum. This okay? Well, let's find out. There you go. One handed dandy prairie dog vacuum. <coughs> you just turn it on, stick the tube in the hole, and all the critters in the burrows going to that hole will be sucked into the bag. That sounds a little rough. Are you sure they're going to be okay? Of course they will. Built this baby here with safety in mind. That's why it's so ugly. Now don't forget, if there ain't any critters in the burrows going to that hole, you'll lose suction and some of the ones that you've caught will escape. You gotta make sure you catch all of them before you move them. Okay. Just keep at it and you'll do fine. There's some paw panties in if you remember to bring this back when you're done. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. Prairie dog's life is rough enough as it is. Anything else on your mind? That's it for now. Bye now. Bye now. Okay, guys. Gotta keep in mind Oh, come on Which one was the... I see, I see. Oh god, no, no! They're getting away! Fuck this. I, how does this not still hurt them is what I don't understand. They're being sucked into a tube! Oh my god, I did not just do that. Come on, little guys.
that I do it. Okay. Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. It kind of looks like the money box I found at the farmhouse. Check. Did that. Hey there. I'm all done with the prairie dog vacuum. Here you go. All righty then. Anything else on your mind? I'll let you go. Bye now. Why do you have so many paw pennies? I can't hit the sack just yet. No? Hmm. Let's move. This storm is ah, about to okay. go critical. We need to get out in the field now. Your riding point. Salad in the Scott house. Tracking the storm. Grant Let's is go. here too, but he's charging his headphones, so he left me to talk to myself. Only now you're here, so I can talk to you. How's your day? <sighs> I am. I am not in the mood to do this right now, but I shouldn't dry this one now. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's not that part. Ow! We're gonna get a twister. I fucking love this game too, though. Okay, where are we going? I'm not paying attention. Turn back! You're driving away from the storm. Someone bumped into me, Frosty. I forget what I'm supposed to be doing with them. Where are we going? Hold on. Turn back! You're driving Dude! The storm. You did not just say you, you you do know I have like the biggest crush on Scott, right? You 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 do know how much I love him. Careful what you say in front of me. Oh my fucking god. I'm trying to drive, but it's difficult! How did you not know this? Like, I'm like the biggest Scott simp. You're going the wrong way! Shh, I fucking hate you right now. Not you, Salad. Frosty. <sighs> I can't drive with a trackpad, first You're of all. The wrong way. Okay, well then, tell me- I- Oh, check that out. Ah! Oh, no. No, no, no. Shoot. Video camera just died. Here, fix it. I've got to keep shooting stills. Oh, not the Renegades. Grant, where are you? This is your part of the game you like. No, I fucking... Scott is just so hot. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> you missed it. I was like... When we first started, I was like... Head over heels. Like, I could not... It was just... <coughs> no, this is Grant's part of the game. He likes renograms. I'm a Sudoku person, and I even prefer nonograms. I am- I don't fuck with renograms. Uh-uh. Fuck that. And I don't even know where Grant is. A Scott Varnell body pillow? Do you want to get me that for Christmas? Okay. <laughs> Just an idea. That That's something to think about. <laughs> so I was doing yeah, so I was doing this thing where like um like you know like when you have to like go to bed and Debbie's like go to bed Nancy I would I would do this so that I would like I would like go say goodnight to Scott before going to bed and then I forgot to say goodnight to him and I went to bed without saying goodnight like how awful of me I'm supposed to be wifey material but instead I don't know how to say goodnight to my husband 
Okay, if you're if you're gonna look into this, you have to like. You have to make sure the detail in his beard is still there. Like, I still need that little bit of like white patches that he has, like, going on because they're just like so hot. And like, I don't know if he does blow or if he's just getting old, but it's still hot to me and I love it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look this up because I fucking hate doing this. Grant, are your headphones almost charged yet? I'm lonely. Okay. Or maybe I can get a head start and then I can figure it out on my own, but I fucking do not like doing this. <coughs> and I'm still fucking coughing. Okay, I'll just go from... Oh, that's not right. Okay. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Hurry up! Shut up! It's I just I just love him so much. Like I just oh, I just love him. If Psychic was still here, he would be telling you not to do this. <laughs> He'd be like, the last thing Meg needs is a Scott Varnell body pillow of all Nancy True characters. But, sorry. What can I say? I am a simp. And I do not care. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, whatever. I think the 10 goes beside. Aha. Okay. Frosty... I don't think you can- Can it, is it possible to be too slow at this, where you like, fail? I mean, it's never happened to me, but I don't know. Just guessing. <coughs> That's a beauty. I'm taken! Damn! Find someone else to flirt with. Oh, really? I can fail this if I take too long? Well, I should probably just fucking do it as quickly as I can. Okay, where does the 18 go? Because... Is it here? I think so. I hate renograms. Sorry, guys. I just don't like them. Twenty two, does that go beside the Nope, it goes here. And then What? But you can't go here because then it oh yes it does. <sighs> Iris. Sorry, I just really I, I don't like doing runograms at all. And it stresses me out. I'm actually very stressed out right now. I would much rather continue talking about Scott Varnell and my love for him, but I have to do this instead. Because Frosty is on my ass about it. Where does this bitch go? Oh. That makes more sense. Boop boop. Oh my god, I just- I can't believe I- oh my god. Grant, you're gonna have to keep everyone busy for me, because I cannot concentrate on everyone <clears throat> and do this at the same um, time. Okay. Oh my god, you're here! Grant, you scared me! I, th I thought you were Frosty! 
And I was like, I don't remember Frosty sounding like that. Nancy, you are stupid. Where the fuck does 38 go? Here? No. Up there, I think. I'm not looking forward to Frosty iron. going, yeah. I thought you fixed it! No, 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 it's up there. Up, uh, top left. Top left is 16. There? Yeah, uh, yep. 63 to the right of 59. Please. Thank you. Right oh, did I fuck up? I think you're fine. Where does 66 go? There, probably. I don't think. I'm scared, Grant. Uh, you can move. Actually, you know what you can do? What? I'm scared. Like, I have, like... Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. What? What, what did I do? What did make, I do? What did make, I do? Make, 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 make. Fucking. What? Can you please pick out the 66, please? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I don't know why that's there if I'm honest. Okay, so where does it go? Move 55 and 56 to the right, please. Like that? Yes, 56 too. I fixed it. Oh my god! Go, Frosty. Just in time, thanks. Uh-oh, we got some trouble. The funnel is headed right for that building. Why are you so... Look at that. You weren't even, like, actually distracting me. I was, like, paying too much attention to what you guys were saying. And I was, like, running out of time, I guess. I don't know. I thought I was gonna fucking... It didn't record a thing. I thought you said you fixed it. I did fix it. Let's head back to the homestead. I just want to get to the end. So, so like, oh. tornadoes are cool. <laughs> oh, there he is. You bet I do. I think what they are is cool, but after today, I'm sure not a fan of what they do. After That's something that researchers, myself included, all too often forget. As exciting as it is to chase tornadoes, they are hugely destructive, and the damage they do to lives and livelihoods is all too often horrible and irreparable. <sighs> What a disheartening day. An EF3, and we failed to get so much as one inch of footage on it, thanks to you. <laughs> what do you I'm sure you know all about me? inches, Scott Varnell. Frosty says you failed to fix his video camera in time to record anything. But, but that's not true. I fixed it in plenty of time. Look, I don't want to hear excuses. Just go. Call it a day and make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Okay. Okay, Daddy. I kind of wanted Meg to say, like, Oh, please be destructive to my relationship. <laughs> like a tornado. <laughs> what are you on about? I, I don't know. It vaguely sounded like something you'd say. I'd say that was a really Hi, good good How's night talk. Morning, Nancy. Looks like it's shaping up to be of another course. big day for all of us. First things first, we've got huge communications problems right now. I had Chase fix up the GPS units and add the comm antenna location. I need you to take a trip over to see what the problem is. After that, I know Chase asked if you could drop by and talk to him, okay? That's it for now. Have fun! I like how we can force feed everyone in this game. <laughs> kind of funny. What's going on? Hi. Why don't you get a cat for your mice problem? Cats? Forget about it. I'm deathly allergic to cats. Mice are annoying, but at least they don't leave me sneezing and short of breath. I want to offer him some cheese, but I know he won't accept it. But I just want a reason to keep talking to him. Guess I'll get going. Whatever.
Is Scott Varnell on your Vigily Academy list or something? Wow. Scott Varnell. <laughs> Zoom in on his hands. That's exactly what I was doing. No, oh my God! Oh. Ow! I just hit my head on my fucking chair. Ow! <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, is he looking at me? <gasps> oh my god, greatest comedic timing of all time. Holy shit. That's so funny. Okay, now view photos and see what the photos are. <laughs> Set images wallpaper. Oh my god, Iris is gonna be so upset that the squirrel is gone. There is nothing horrifying about an attractive man salad. You just don't get it. What am I doing again? Nancy, now this is what you call perfect timing. I was just getting ready to put the transmission of this car back together. But seeing as you're here and seeing as Debbie said I should feel free to give any job I don't have time for to you, that's just what I think I'll do. Sounds like fun. All you gotta do is put the gears I just oh, this is back awful. on three horse uh -uh. on. Do ride. you like this grand? There's a notch for each gear, so just figure out which size gear goes no, to the uh -uh. Of course, you gotta make sure when the gears line up vertically, they touch but don't overlap each other. It's not hard, just takes a little time and a little bit of trial and error. I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, whatever. I want Scott to give me a whirl. Don't you agree, Grant? Like, don't you, like, just want Scott to just whirl you? No. Uh, well, you're lame for that. I don't think I can actually, um... That won't work. The gears right. will overlap. Fuck you. That won't work. The gears will overlap. <sighs> oh wait, that's not. That's not that <laughs> doesn't go there. That doesn't Salad, go there. Salad, you know, you're right. You're right. I get them all to myself, and that feels good. Cause I actually genuinely don't know anyone else in the community and people I've like talked to on Tumblr. You know, everyone's like Henry Bolay, you know, and I love Henry too. But Scott, he's all mine, all mine, and that makes me kind of happy that I can like gatekeep him, I guess, like that. So, what can I say? I'd rather you don't say. I don't think that one, um, oh, maybe it does, actually. And then, this big one, I think, goes here. Hmm. You know what else is probably big? Haha, <laughs> she's gonna say Scott's cock or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Yes! 
I did it. I got all the gears back on the rods. Fine job, Nancy. Now come on over here. Something else I need you to do. I need for you to run this here estimate over to Scott. It's for the body work that needs to be done on Pete's car. Scott's supposed to look it over and sign it before I give the repair shop the go-ahead. Well, I'll take it to him. Appreciate it. Anything else on your mind? What kind of girls does Scott like, do you know? Huh, Chase? Help me out here. How do I- how do I get him? You know, like, how do I- What do I do? What does he like? Actually, I know what he dislikes, and he dislikes chocolate. So I know not to get him chocolate. I'll go to pause and I'll get candy that isn't chocolate, give it to him, and then I'll win him over. And then I'm set. He likes crime and criminals, so, you know. That's uh, so hot. I don't know. Uh, evade taxes. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in love with a criminal. Um, that's a that's a Britney Spears song. <laughs> I don't know if Brooke is his ex and if they have anything going on. They haven't specified, but like could be. Maybe they were hinting at it and I just didn't see it. Do you remember anything about Wouldn't that you grand? Like to know what they're oh. There's no way I would eat candy in front of Scott and not share with him. Brooke isn't his ex. I, I didn't think so, but like, I guess if you want to theorize that they have something going on, sure. I mean, they I'll fucking kill the, the bitch anyways. Maybe oh, just there is the possibility of uh, Scott having any other ever from her mind. Did that. I have another reason to talk to Scott. What's going on? Oh my god, that voice. Fuck me. Now. Oh, Chase asked me to give you this estimate from the auto repair shop. Oh yeah, he warned me this was coming. I'll take care of it, thanks. Pretty scary how much damage a bunch of frozen raindrops can do to a car. Of course, they've been frozen to the size of golf balls thanks to several miles worth of updraft. <laughs> was that Frosty? Yes, that was Frosty. Look, go down there and whatever his problem is, take care of it, okay? I don't have time for any histrionics. Oh, he's, he has such a low average. <laughs> Andy, come over vocabulary. Here. Look, try not to get upset, but I just discovered we have a really big problem down here. Mice. One just oh, you don't say! Right across my keyboard. My keyboard, Nancy! That's way over the line! You're afraid of mice? What? Who? Me? What? Afraid? No. I mean, so what if they crawl all over everything and come darting out of the shadows when you least expect it and have those tiny pink feet and those skinny little tails? Okay, yes, mice totally creep me out, all right? The point is, I can't get anything done with them scampering their brains out down here, and somebody like you needs to get rid of them. Please? I'd be happy to. <sighs> Bless you. Okay. The well, things I do for, for Scott Varnell. Go for it. Did you, you catch those mice frosty. yet? Still working on it. Fuck, can I back up? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Um... Aha. God, I fucking love doing this. Alright. Mice. I fucking love this so much. Like, it's so relaxing to me. Yes, I agree with Irith on the search points. I don't really agree on this puzzle. I think this puzzle is fine, but it's too easy and too, like, boring. I just find it relaxing, like, that's the thing. It's repeated too much. I don't know, I, I don't know. 
Oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck. No, that's not what I meant to do. It's not what she meant to do. You tired, Grant? No, this is just boring. Mice were real. You wish mice were real? Yeah, I can know. Like they were a thing in real life. Oh! Fellas, you're gonna like your new home. Maybe me and Scott should just start running like a mouse farm. I feel like any hypothetical that starts with maybe me and Scott won't go though. Well. Okay. Like everything else in my life. Exactly. Exactly. I always go the wrong way. Dumbass. I know. It's funny we can get there still. And then I go down. No, I go up. I remember that Scott at the end of the game ends up here and the mice eat him. I think that's kind of awesome. Can you say that again? Not really. Like it sounded like you said something about mice eating Scott. Is that what you said? Well... Wouldn't you like to know? Oh fuck. Sorry. This is why I don't have my license. This is That's so scary. Like just have lice. Shut up, shut up. Like, literally, like, just shut up. <laughs> like, shut up. Go back to charging your headphones. Oh, I am playing with the trackpad right now, yeah. I don't drive! Wait, I'm supposed to- Oh, I right, I was gonna go to pause. <laughs> That's right, Iris. You're correct. Well, when I drive, I just lose my focus on everything else because I get scared. Whatever. I guess I, I guess I heard wrong. 
What can I do? For you? <coughs> Have Scott and his team always been so accident prone? Always been. I'd say they've always been reality prone. That's you don't chase down tornadoes. The reality of the situation is that you're pretty much giving trouble your home. Did I even tell you guys what happened the last time I went driving? It's been especially bad. Grant, I'm talking to you. Uh, not really. I didn't think. Okay, so uh, we were at a football game. And it was like me, my mom, and my dad, and we like we like met up with like like uh, some other friends, but whatever. They're not important to the story. But uh, my parents were both pretty drunk, and like I don't drink. I like to be sober, so I kind of had no choice but to like drive everyone back home after. And like getting out of the stadium was so fucking like, I was so anxious because of the fucking like rush hour. Like everyone's trying to get out of there, and there's just so many other cars around me. I was like freaking out, but like I did pretty fine up until the highway. And I, I did something wrong on the highway, and I to this day don't even know what it was. Like they didn't like my dad was just like yelling at me and telling me to pull over, and my mom was in the back seat like screaming, like she actually thought she was gonna die. And I was like, okay all right and then i was like yeah i'm not doing this anymore and then my dad fucking took over and just drove us home and i was like oh fucking hell i can't even drive my drunk parents home i, I don't even know what i did wrong like they didn't, they didn't even tell me they were just like too busy screaming at me instead of like correcting my mistakes i guess but uh if they were drunk i don't know if they could tell you anyway, well i, I guess i guess what it's all about. but what's even like, funnier yeah. is that when my dad got out of the car to like uh like whatever like switch with me he was sitting like on his phone and when he got out like the phone fucking like fell out of the car and so he lost his phone on the highway and the next day he literally drove back to go find it and he did find it he just like found it there somewhere on the highway that's and actually like, kind of awesome yeah he, he found his phone it was i was like wow but yeah since then i have not driven anywhere and i don't really plan to drive for a long time because it's just not my thing i'm not good at it Yippee, anyway, another thing I can't do. Woo. Who is that your woman asking all of those kind questions of about what Scott? All about ah, getting a kid to now be I don't want to talk bad about people around here. But that was Brooke. She is of the other team of chasers. Well, even before that, um, they were like, well, we plan on drinking, so are you going to take us home after? And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I try to, like, force myself to drive because, like, it, it would be really good for me if I did drive, you know? Like, I could just, like, life would just be so much easier for me, but whatever. Just something I I can't do, whatever, I don't know. Don't worry but, about um, it, But, um, my mom sent a picture of me behind the wheel and just sent it to Amber. Like, my mom and Amber are fucking, like, so tight. Like, they're like this. Like, they're... <laughs> they love each other my mom is like sending pictures of me driving to amber and she's like woo go doris and i was like not woo go doris i almost killed them tonight but whatever is she always so interested in our team you think y'all were just about the only thing worth babbling on about her the whole state for honestly asking questions really? you know what keeps what me going about like like not even kidding I can't drive, I dropped out of university, I can't do shit in life, but at least I'm still hot. That's the one thing I have going for me, is that at least I have my looks. I'm not, like, I'm not even kidding you, like, that's the one thing I'm like, at least I'm still hot. I'm a hot fucking mess, that's what I am. Well, I'm glad Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Yeah. Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. Every time I pass by a mirror, I'm just like, Haha, that's right. <laughs> that's right. When did you last see it? It was there when I dusted. And that was just last week. It wasn't last month. Anyway, I can't imagine why anybody would take it. All the thing it's good for is fine and all. That's pretty much just a superstition. For most folks, that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just gonna have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? I'll let you get back to work. Stop by anytime. Did that. Check. Check. Okay, now you need to fix the antennas. I do, don't I? 
Yeah, that puzzle actually kind of sucks. I don't like it. Yeah. Is it the... Where am I going again, Grant? Do you know? It's not the windmill, is it? No, it's... Isn't it this thing? No, it's not that. Oh, it says on- and it, it says it up here. Fucking hell. Were you waiting for me to figure that out on my own? <laughs> um, okay, so another I thing. I can't drive. I'm dumb. But I'm hot. <laughs> so, if I was blonde, it would be, like, really sad. Because it's, like, stereotypical. Like, oh my god, she's blonde and she's dumb. But, well. If I'm honest, I'm not even sure that you have gotta go there. It might be the TV antennas. No. No. Really? Man? Check the thing, please. No, Check I. Fucking... No, I swear to God, I have to go there. The other thing, the uh, the checkbook. No, look, I'll, I'll prove you wrong. If well, I even fine. can figure out where the fuck I'm even going. Oh yeah, see, it's right there, it's right there! Is that not it? The wind sure did a number on these things. Sure. There's pieces of them everywhere. Fuck this. Okay. This puzzle is nice. I think the TV puzzle sucks. Well, this one's like... I like how it has the outline. So it shows you like what the shape is and what kind of needs to go there. I wonder if on senior it's not there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't know. Fucking casual. Can someone keep like a counter going of every time Grant says something mean to me? Like. <laughs> oh, that's not right. Wait, that's not. What? 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 It just, it just falls off. That's so funny to me. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, fuck these little thingies. No, that's not what I meant to do. This is actually kind of embarrassing. They just keep falling. I don't know what you're talking about. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, this one has to go here. Okay, I was waiting for it to fall off again. Hmm. You can't even it's fucking funny. see the the far one here. Like I have to like really look. Oh, that's what was missing there. Great job. Fantastic, man. You got this. Do you really mean that? Only if you want me to not mean it. I will not mean it. What? What? It's the Antichrist, the uh, fucking anti-cross, I guess. <laughs> this yeah. one's on the big wind. Okay. No, that doesn't go there. No, this one goes up here. Yep. It does? Wait, uh, uh, higher. Like, the like, huh? Wait, does like, it? How? Is it not? Am I stupid? I might be stupid here. I think we're all a little stupid. Oh, no, 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 it goes under the small window. Uh, fucking, it's a small antenna. The small antenna. The other antenna. This one? Oh my god! Okay. Does this one go here, though? I don't think so. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, turn it around, please. Ah, fuck. Oh, yes, oh, it goes oh, here, oh, oh! Yes, yes. No, oh, fuck! No, what? I thought that went there! What 
what even? Was it backwards? It was all. Oh. My cat isn't at my door. Hey, this one, you know where you're at. I, I do. You got this, man. You're doing great. Thanks. Gee, thanks. Me. There. Now they should work. What's that? <sighs> Somebody on Scott's team probably dropped this. You dropped this, King. <laughs> I imagine Scott Varnell like coming to save me. I need to get out of here. I imagine Scott Varnell. Turn ahead. Nine hundred ninety-nine leaks. That's not the right way back to the farm. What is going on here? Somebody must have. Oh, whoops! Great job. How quirky, guys, get it? It's like, oh, you died, but it's, uh... Oh. Turn ahead, 999 leagues. What is going on here? Somebody must have programmed this thing to give faulty directions. Error ahead. Turn error. Schmear, 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 schmear. Turn that last bit of my last bound. Continue driving. Reprogram destination if needed. Right. Nearing destination. Please proceed cautiously. Nearing the, the way Nancy like that's Please not the right way cautiously. to the farmhouse. Okay, go down after this. Yes, go down. Thanks. Great job. You got it. You did it. You got it. You got it. You did it. Hey, you Nancy. Frosty's got quite the unusual scream, doesn't he? Does he do that a lot? Oh, yeah. Yes. He thinks he's so smooth. First time I heard him do that, I thought my little sister was downstairs. Thanks to that faulty GPS, I wound up in the middle of a violent thunderstorm on my way back from fixing the antenna. I know it sounds paranoid, but... I think someone tampered with it. You sure you were operating it correctly? Positive. I'll have Chase take a look at it. What else is going on? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Really, I don't understand how people like hate the game. Hello, Nancy. Pa tells me that you've been asking him about Brooke. Is that true? Huh? No, that's not true. Okay. Oh, maybe Pa's mistaken. Exactly. I'm not the type to go after <gasps> the personal lives of fellow scientists. Right. Is he a Louis Anderson fan? He did seem pretty certain. He might be. You know, maybe you should spend less time talking to Pa and more time doing your job here, Nancy. Rich uncle or no, you have work to do. So do it. Oh my god, he really needs to just blow off some steam. And I could really help him with that if he would just let me. <sighs> He she really just needs me to blow him. Ha <laughs> ha I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> Grant, did you see the TikTok I sent in the server? <laughs> no. I'll watch it now if you want me to. Oh, I think it's like buried somewhere in the chat now. I'll show it to you later, but I'll quit begging you now. Okay. Don't hurry back. It's it's about Scott and my love for him. You just reminded me of it. No bed for me. Oh what? I still have things to do. Really? Wow, well, she doesn't Can't check that off yet. Sleep on a bed. <laughs> hey there. Did you hey. fix the GPS devices? What? Sure did. 
This reminds me of the Canadian TV show that you talked about. The Come for the Trivia, Stay for the Chase. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's not Canadian, though. It's American. Really? I think maybe you yeah. could use some more work. Mine went berserk and tried to lead me directly into the path of a storm. It did what now? It tried to lead me right into the storm. I'm real sorry, Nancy. All I did was run a few updates and... I'm very sorry. It went haywire on you. I'll make sure it never happens again. Fuck, that reminds me. Whenever I hear anyone say haywire, it, I think of aliens in the attic when their grandma's hitting the TV. <gasps> and she's like, Stu, yes. Stu. The TV's gone haywire. <laughs> That's it for now. Everyone in the chat, you you, you gotta say the thing now. You gotta say the thing, including you, Grant. Say the thing. Instantaneous. Instantaneous death. death. It's too soon to go. To what? Bed. That's done. Okay. What's going on? Oh. I'll let you get back to work. Don't hurry back. Okay. Yes. Don't hurry back. Oh. He's he's playing hard to get. Like holy fuck, he wants me so bad. Wouldn't you like him to be hard, Meg? Very funny. I know. I I yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't turn in. I still have stuff to do. Like what? I genuinely don't know. Check. There was the... It was just the mice. I did that, but... Did I set them free? Yes. Did I even set them free? Well, I might have just been... Carrying the mice around with me everywhere I go. I'll find Don't out, I guess. Is this key that you found also? To something? Yeah, but Scott is there. I can't open it now. Oh, yeah. Scotland is there. By the way, no one in chat said instantaneous death. Oh, well, because they're losers. The they can't even watch a movie where it's all on YouTube. <laughs> I'm surprised not even Iris. Like, wow. Yeah, not even. <sighs> I could have sworn I did do this, but... I think you did do this. Oh, I didn't grab the rod, right? Oh, it's not here. Oh. So what I told I... you you did this. Okay, so I did. Okay. No, where are you going? I don't know. Are you going to mine past general store for general? Oh, uh, no. <gasps> Look at the suit you're on. Huh? Yeah. You were just on Amber Street. That was so funny. Oh, nice! Hey. Maybe talk to Chase. Hey there. I'll check back with you later. Bye now. Maybe talk to Deborah. Mm, maybe talk to Frosty, actually. One of the things I want you to do today is oh. trap the mice I keep seeing by the table and get them okay. out of here. They're starting to get pretty annoying. I really do have to go to pause, actually, to get more fucking cheese. I better get to work. Have fun! Thanks, Deborah. Thanks, Deborah. Okay, you get more cheese, I'll take a piece. Thank you very much. What does everyone want from the store? I'm buying. I wish I was chewing cunt smackers. <laughs> Whatever that means. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Since you're putting away and right. I got you, Iris. I'm gonna get you a Coco Kringle. I just need some Monet. Grant left me again. Alright, Iris. There's your Coco Kringle. Enjoy it. I personally don't like crispy chocolate. Oh god. If I'm not mistaken, I do this like two more times, I think, in the game. Oh my god, I came back just at the most exciting time of the Since we're stuck in mouse limbo, anything you'd like to talk about? Let's talk about... Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um... See any weirdos on the subway lately? Actually, not really, no, no. No? So, um, I have a story, actually. So, um, a long time ago when me and my sister were on the bus, we were taking the bus to go to the mall, I think. Uh, there was this guy, and he had, like, two kids with him. And they were, like, in these, like, strollers. And he just kind of, like, like, at the front of the bus, you know, you, like, move down the seat so you have more room for, like, your strollers or whatever. It's, like, where designated parents sit in their designated spots, I guess. And that's where he was. But then he, like, something about him seemed really off. Like, he just didn't seem right in the head, you know? Like, I don't know how else to really explain it. And, um, mm -hmm. so he did this thing that was so fucking weird, kind of traumatizing, but now funny, is he jumped like a fucking frog, like, leaped up onto the seat, like, beside me and my sister, and was just, like, he was doing the Itachi, like, the, 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 the way he was, like, you know what I mean, right? Like, I don't have to demonstrate it. He was, like, in that position on on the, on the seat, and he turns to me and my sister, and he goes, Ribbit! Pretending he was a frog! Or maybe he actually thought he was a frog, and I'm like, you have two kids? <laughs> like, <sighs> jumping around the fucking bus, jumping on a chair, <coughs> and going, Ribbit! Maybe he was doing that to, like, oh. entertain his kids or something. I don't know, but it was fucking weird. And me and me and my sister were like, what even is going on here? Yeah, probably the kids. 
<laughs> it was still weird. Wow, you're dirty in a twirl. I don't know. Well, well Meg, you, you're gonna do it. You're gonna get the mouses and the mice. I'm trying. Those dang nabbit mice. They're mice. I like your Scott Barnell impression. Have I ever told you about the guy that I refer to as the Jesus guy because he saved my life at the One Direction concert? No. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, after the, my One Direction concert, me and my friends were crossing the highway trying to get to my dad, who was parked, like, way, like, somewhere farther away because he couldn't find parking, I guess. So he was like, just walk to me. And I know it's a very dangerous thing to do. It's a fucking highway, and we're, like, running across it. And um, there was this guy speeding, like, in his car, obviously. He's going fast. He has to. And uh, he was literally, like, fucking just... Like, on the verge of, like, hitting either one of my friends. Like, we, we, like, my life honestly flashed before my eyes. And I thought this fucking guy was gonna hit us. But then this other fucking guy, like, jumped right in front of us. And, like, put his arm out to signal the car to stop. And it fucking did. And it was, like, this close to hitting him. Like, he literally risked his life to save us. And, like, after that, I was, like, crying to him, and I was like, you did not have to do that, but thank you so much. And he was just, like, the, like, the sweetest, like, guy ever. Like, just, he, like, he could have died doing that. And I call him the Jesus guy, because I, I will always remember him. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Don't the Jesus, it reminded me of, like, a Christian more. thing, where he famously thinks God, Jesus, and the bear. Yeah. Because the guy in the bear costume told him called him Christian, and his dad changed his name to Christian because he thought it was a sign from God or something like that. Hilarious story, I know. Yeah, Irith, I'm I'm on, I'm on the same page as you. Actually, I had that happen to me as well. Where when I first played this game, I didn't know you could put the walls up for the for the mice, and then I found out somehow, and then I was like, well, that's a lifesaver. Meg, the rod, the rod. Is it there? Where is it? It's not here, Meg. <laughs> Just okay, guessing. well, you said the rod, the rod. So I was like, okay. Don't want to miss it. Oh, you know. If I say that, that you're not going to miss it. Where am I fucking going? Oh, they're the right, the right way. I think now I go to bed. Use the rod on the place C. I can't turn that oh, can't still have stuff to That's kind of like Aerith, uh, is right. They have the right idea. I don't even have it. Do you have any more errands or deliveries? Well... I think you guys have got a mouse problem. No, we've got a mice problem. Which we're all just trying to ignore because there's really no time to do anything about it. I think maybe the little piles of corn I keep finding are what's causing it. I haven't noticed any little piles of we corn. We were just talking about little this, Debbie. Of dirt, yes, but corn? Anyway, it's more likely the mice are causing the piles. Probably storing up for the winter or something. That's it for now. Have fun! No. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to work. Don't hurry back. I can't go to bed yet. Kate, the fuck? Maybe Chase. Wait a minute. Oh, the camera! The camera! Can't I play it? Look at that! But Knocked I fixed it. Flat. I hope it was as abandoned as it looked. It's roping out!
I think that might have solved everything, Grant, because I did not look at that. Can I go to bed now? No bed for me. I still have things to do. What? Okay. <sighs> Maybe Dr. Frostman? The Frostman. So, what's up? How come Scott told me you didn't get any footage on that tornado we saw? Because I didn't. I told you. That camera you said you'd fixed was still broken. But I did fix it. I'm sure of it. Nope. Still broken. You can see for yourself if you want. I left it upstairs. In all the excitement, I, I didn't double check your work until it was too late. So, I guess it's partially my fault. I told Scott to go easy on you. And since you're still standing, <laughs> guess he did. Look. We just he just has a crush on me. Means odds are next time we'll have good luck. Stuff happens. Forget about it. I need to get going. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure. Thanks, Nancy. You're the bomb. Dot com. Okay, now blow up. <laughs> Get off, get off, get okay, off. that's what's Who's going on. Who's he talking here. to? How come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money? I'm never gonna get this stuff off. These are my best boots, dang it. Get out. That was a little weird. Hey there. Thanks, Sam. Uh, asked uh, me to sour. return this to you. I tried. Thanks. Does he borrow stuff from you a lot? Hardly ever. This Maybe place don't about exactly to blow up. He's the outgoing, sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. Won't let me forget it, neither. What's Debbie's relationship to Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, it seems like she and him have been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know... Why have I never seen these sure before? There are YouTube emotes? Oh. Oh my god, when Hugh was streaming last night, they were sending, like, their emotes that they have on Twitch or whatever, and I was just like, none of these are Usain Hart. Like, how dare you? That's it for now. All righty then. Aw, there Grant goes in with the Usain heart because he knows. Did that. Did that. Can I go to bed now? Can I go to bed with Scott? Please! <laughs> Grant, you just know. Like, Grant, honestly, I have I have a feeling if like we were in person together and we were just like often like hanging out together, like I, I swear you would be like the best wingman ever. Like I swear, <laughs> you would be like, cause you you would just you just would, you would. Morning, Debbie. What's up? If I seem a little frantic, it's because there's a front moving in capable of producing a supercell, maybe even lots of supercells. So we're moving out ASAP. Everyone's already outside. You'll ride with Chase in the. <laughs> Holy cow! That was the jack for Scott's phone. Forget what I was saying. You're gonna have to stay here and fix Scott's phone connection. Scott will freak if he comes back and his phone doesn't work. Soon as I finish entering these data, I am out of here. Go on, go fix that phone. Go! But how do I fix a phone? I've never done anything like that. It probably just needs to be rewired. I've seen you work. I know you can figure this out for us. Okay. Jesus Christ. Fucking. Come on, Debbie, let's get going. On my way. Oh. Okay, Scott. Did you hear the way he said Debbie? Nick, did you know that she was a student under Scott or something? That's very, um... That's fine, actually. Um, I have no problem with that. Sometimes I forget Scott is actually a professor. Oh my god, that's...
I should fix this phone before I... Before I fix him. <laughs> I could fix him. I could. <laughs> I could. I, I say that about people, and then I ended up um, not being able to fix them. <laughs> like, you know who I'm talking about. My god, I was like so- I, I would be messaging Amber, I'd be like, I'm getting this much closer to fixing him! Like, finally! <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen! And then, no way, it, it didn't happen! No! Nice After a whole year of trying, that whole relationship blew up in flames. And then, oh my god, Amber was like, so patient with me. She was like, you cannot fix him. Leave now before you get hurt. And I was like, you can't tell me what to do. Uh-uh. I know I can fix him. Yeah, right. But Scott Varnell, on the other hand, I think maybe I could try. I would still attempt. And then um, I should probably do the puzzle now because I'm talking about things that you guys don't care about. <laughs> I care about it. I just don't know if it's something that you should share like this. But, um, sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's actually kind of, a uh, very typical of me. <coughs> to just overshare, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna investigate this before I continue, though. And, let's see. Oh, Iris makes a good point. Maybe that's that's why I go back to college. If if there's a oh, Amber's back. Hi Amber. Yeah. I was just talking about you. I was talking about yeah. how you're just one of the greatest friends of all time and how you tolerate me and my bullshit. <laughs> like thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Cuz you're just awesome. Anyways, uh let's see where should I go now? Anyways, Amber, what's up? You should go to the left. It doesn't work that way. Hmm? Mm hmm? Wait, maybe... I'm about to fuck this up. Oh, I just did. Wait, no, I no, can just go back. No, you didn't. I did it, I know, I know. Wait, hold on. One, two, three... And then if I do... I go... Can I go this way, Grant? No, because I'll just fuck I up I think again. so. I think you can. I think that's fine. Mm. Yes. Wait, if I go this way, and... I think you're fucked if you go this way. So if I go down... Wait, ooh. Did I already fuck up? I think I did. Go back. Where should I go back? Like, like this? Yep. Maybe if I go this way? No. Wait. I think what you should do... Okay. Like this, right? Actually, good idea. Awesome idea. Okay, you're done. Yeah, that worked. So there it. you go. There. All fixed. Okay, now What's snoop around sound? with this... Uh, Oh, it's the green. He jumps out of his truck while it's still moving. As long as you're making sure that everything looks right, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I know what I'm doing here. That's Scott. This headset must have some kind of wireless connection to his cell phone. Wonder who he's talking to. Congratulations. Any chance you can keep your act together so that the rest of the world doesn't also know what you're up to? No one suspects a thing, Brooke. Brooke? That's the name of the leader of that rival chase team. Let's try to keep it that way. 
You worry about keeping up your part of the deal. I've got everything and everyone under control out here. What was it again that said there was something going on with, with, with Brooke and, and Scott? Was it Salad? How dare you? Everyone knows it's not it true. Salad and Ireth also. Looks like I need a key. How dare you? There is nothing going on between them. Nothing. Don't come on me. And even if you actually think so, you can pretend. Thank you, Amber. And I think Amber, now... This game is fiction that. in its entire... Come on. As much as Meg wouldn't like that to be true, Scott for now is not real. Science is this close. Like, science will catch up. It will make him real. And I am going to have a brilliant time with him. Amber, what? She lives in Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> Iris, you, you're so fucking funny. Well, I'm gonna do an Iris impression. Also, Grant, how dare you? I was the original one confused by Salad Desertion. I don't know if there's anything else for me to look at here, though, right? <laughs> no, Scott Vernell would not treat you like you deserve. Actually, that's kind of true, Meg, but uh, you would never admit it to be true. <sighs> He's not even that bad. Like... Still have to do that. Haven't done that. What else am I missing in here? Oh, because Chase, right. Come for the trivia. Stay for the chase. Stay for the chase. Looks like Chase stepped in that oil puddle I saw by the sprinklers. Or are there Looks other like puddles of oil around chase. here? It's actually a good show. Like, I know you like trivia, like, so do I, but I think you actually I enjoy know. it. It's a good show. We would. I just don't know what the fuck that show is. It's it's just called The like, Chase. Um, where else do I need to go snooping since everyone's gone? Sec uh, salad that would make a good clip compilation. You Se should Se upload this as a video and title it Trail the Twister, but I just try to convince my friend that Scott Varnell isn't even that bad. I don't even think I need to do a lot of convincing here, though. Like, Grant, like, you... Do you sympathize with him? Yes. Yeah. But not in that way. No, but, like, if we're talking about in terms of him being bad, he's not that bad. He's very bad. What? But I do sympathize with him. He's... Oh, he bad. He bad to the bone. da 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 da, -da. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to really snoop like through down here, so I don't know what I'm supposed to. Still have to do that. Huh. Do you know what the top of your head, Grant? I. Iris asks why. Uh, Grant answers because he could have been a good person and a good professor, but you know he's just been stunted by work in this uh, dog shit town, basically. I don't know. Maybe I missed something in here. Look at his uh, journal. His journal. To the right, to the left. <laughs> Just kidding. Fuck off. I you hate you. Maybe like another drawer. No, I don't know. Is it bad that I would actually, like, 
never mind. It's very bad. So I'm not going to finish that sentence. Basically, I was going to say I would do anything for Scott Vernell. <laughs> but I'm not. It's, it, 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 it's very bad. Yeah. You're right. Okay, fine. Long time listener, first time caller. Just want to say that I am sick up to here of my tax money going to build new roads. When I was a kid, they promised me. <laughs> Where are the hover cars? All right. You have a good show. Hi, Marty. This is. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever heard in these games. Holy fuck. There's some kind of residue on the blade. Hmm, smells like... Coolant. What do you guys think Scott Farnell smells like? I feel like he smells like... The first day of spring. He probably smells like dog food. And, uh... Dog food. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe with a hint of cat food too. He doesn't. He's allergic to them. Why would he have cat food lying around? No, he just smells like it. But why? Can't check that off yet. Oh, you know. Um. Oh, there you go. Hello? Nancy! Good. Glad I got you. You all right now? Everybody get through that storm? Yeah, we're all fine. Great. I was hoping so, but after something that big, thought I'd better check. Well, I got you on the phone, something's come up, and I could really use you down at the store. Please, hurry! Okay, I'll be right there. Oh my god, like... What do you think Scott's morning voice sounds like? Probably, like, really, really sexy. What do you think he he says in the morning? What will he say in the he's morning? Made... Oh, let, let yeah. me think. Let me think. Everything I'm thinking about cannot be said out loud. He's like, I'm here to watch tornadoes, and I'm out of tornadoes. I don't know. They took the pink mobile. The what pink mobile. <laughs> Why can't I drive? Oh, good question. No. Not Scott Varnell doing the Jameson. Good morning, Good ladies and gentlemen. But it'd be morning, I guess, yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Why are you guys always yucking on my yums? Why? Why? I don't know. I don't want you to get uh, food poisoning from your fucking yums, okay? You are my friend. You're supposed to be supportive. You're supposed to say things like, oh, okay. he would probably, he, the first thing he'd say when he wakes up in the morning is he'd look up at you and be like, good morning, beautiful. But instead, you're like, what the fuck are you staring at? And then he turns away. Yeah, right. I that that, no, that, no. that is not, that is not the answer. That is, <laughs> stop. Hold on, Meg. I, I'm going to say something you would like. Okay. He would uh, wake up and look at you and he would be, Wow, look at your neck. It looks like my fingers.
<laughs> and the funny thing is you wouldn't be able to look at your neck because like your head doesn't work that way. You just fucking know this is going in a 2022 <laughs> highlights video. Oh, I would hope so. Stop staring at this fucking store. Go in. And I just need a second. Calm down. I've always wanted a man to tell me, wow. Look at your neck. <laughs> you know, Grant. What of it? I can't remember the last time you made me laugh that hard. Thanks. It's something only you, you can do. Track. Like, I genuinely think Good. you are the I'm funniest the person I know. Especially by that homestead display in the museum. I must have a nest right beside Thanks. it. Thanks. I want you to catch them for me and get them out of here before the health department hears about it. They give me a hard enough time already for selling all them Coco Kringle products. I can do that for you, sure. That's a spit here. Here's one of them moon chunks to use as bait. Ooh, I'll need that. Thanks. So you just go on over there and have at it. I wasn't crying, like... Like, it was like, because I was laughing so hard that there were tears in my eyes. I had to grab a tissue box. <laughs> My vision was so blurry. <clears throat> what the fucking hell? What am I doing? I feel like that uh, that means you were crying, maybe. If there were tears in your eyes? Maybe well, not like... Cry. Well, it was a good cry, you know? There is such a thing as cry laughing, I believe. Is this not where I put this? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I think that's somewhere else. Maybe it's because I need to find like corn, you know? The fuck? I can't type. Where does it go? It doesn't go here, does it? Because it doesn't, doesn't let me. Behind, it's near behind the barrel. The barrel? The barrel. Oh, yep. it's like here. What? Huh? Is this is this the spot? I oh me and me and Amber we have uh, there is a special place in our hearts for Brady Armstrong, but we're not gonna get into that. I do think he's cute. <sighs> I don't understand what the problem is. You said you said behind the barrel, that's like uh this barrel. Right? Barrel of these and nuts. Grant, just give me a time What's and place. Up. I don't think it's the barrel. Like, how? how? Scott Varnell to me is like Brady Armstrong to Amber. That's what's so funny. Oh, 
How, how did I get here? Well, I'm here. Squad friend new to me, it's like Brady Armstrong from Amber. Why are you mocking me? Because that's uh, kind of deserving of Armstrong is cute. You know, I was thinking of doing a um, a video idea I had on my channel is that I'm going to do a water bottle tier list. I am very passionate about like like I'm one of those people that thinks People are crazy when they say all water tastes the same. Like you cannot be serious. It's actually untrue. Like like I'm I'm gonna do a water tier list because I love me some good water. Just okay. What? I don't know if I don't know if you really think I'm crazy, but I think buying water, water in bottles that's like absolute sociopath behavior. Like water is, uh, you pay for water, like come on, just filter it. Wait, I probably shouldn't lock these guys in yet. Oh. Yeah, because that would be... I'm kind of distracted, so... Board. Yeah, because this puzzle is dog shit. It's, it's not, not dog shit, you are, um, cat piss. Ah, uh, correct. I think the word you were looking for is correct. I'm correct. This puzzle is dog shit. The only thing you're correct about is that Scott Varnell would love my neck. That's the only thing you've ever said today that you were right about. Or would he, man? Would he I have a great man? neck! You would agree too if you saw my neck. You would agree. I saw your neck. When? Would he really like your neck? Think about it. Yeah, I think you were right, Amber. I, I somehow got here and I still don't don't really know how. But Grant, when have you seen my neck? Like, I, I don't remember showing you my neck. My hair yeah, is always you, down, too, like... Maybe you stream online, did you know that? But my neck? Like, okay. I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a neck person, myself. You're a glasses person. Correct. For once, Meg's right about something. I just know you. Like how every time we play Fibbage, I always get your answers right because I just know you. Oh, do you? I do. I know you oh, so dear. well. Or do you? Maybe I should focus on like, um, yeah, I'll do this. This so okay, Grant. Well, let me finish this and then we'll get back to the fun stuff. Don't be a buzzkill. Okay. I want fun stuff. Danny upstairs? God damn it. Really?
I couldn't hear him. Maybe Discord is picking it up that OBS is. Who knows? Maybe. I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, he's not trying to be stealthy. I think he's just purposely being annoying at this point. But that's my brother, and I love him. That was very believable, man. Do you remember when he doxed you? What? More? Who talked to me? What? what? Do you remember when he doxed you? Do I remember when my brother talks to me? Doxed you. Doxed you. Oh my god. I will never forget when he did that. On stream. I mean, yeah. That was awful. Good job, Daniel. Yeah. Assume that he is her his real name. That is his name, yeah. I remember recently, I, uh, I think he did say hit her address, by the way. He did. Um, he said the, my full address on stream once, when we were doing ghost dogs. It's cut out of the vlog, but... Uh, I cut it out, of course. Very... Yeah. That's why there's no live chat on that video, because I had to edit it. Because he's a child, and a child doesn't do stuff like that. It, yeah, he it really, he was telling a story, it had to do with a guy delivering pizza to us once, and he happened to say my house address out loud, and then after he did, he realized, and then he was like, oh wait, we are on YouTube right now, we are live streaming. It was an accident, he wouldn't just, he wouldn't just do that, you know? He's just stupid, that's what it is. Well, I didn't want to say stupid. That's why I said he's a child. <laughs> no. He's not. I coming. love him. Now get him out of here before any tourists see him. Okay. Thanks for catching I would that like bus, to Nancy. be a tourist in Scott's pants. I don't know. I can't make a funny joke around this. The funniest part is you can, like, tell when it happened, like, when I, um, you know, when I On cut that one, out, yeah. and it just cuts to me with because, a really uh, fucking she... mad face. Like, I, I was so yeah, mad. Yeah, because she is really mad. Yeah. Wait, why did you... Oh, you I'm going to the... To... the bitch. The, the mice is, yeah. The mice is. The mouse ears. The mice. There it is! That was the there rod. before. That's the divining the rod. rod that's missing from the, the rod. I wonder if someone was trying to hide yes. it. And stepped in that pool of oil over there in the process. I wonder who could it be. Man. I hope it's not Lou. That's, I hope it's not Lou. Alright. Speaking of Lou, the best part of that stream was the fucking thing where like you heard of the door opening because that is actually so sp Plus, I've never seen that before in Icicle Creek. Yeah, I- that like never happened. I was like shocked. What the fuck am I doing? Now go to the- yep. Well, I'm trying to go to pause. Where is this bitch? What? Because I have to return the rod. Ugh. My back kind of hurts. Um, and then... I'm a it's bag. on Amber Street, is it not? Hey! Yes. Yes. 
Amber, how could you not mention? Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. You'll be happy to know I not only found your missing divining rod, but I put it back in the display. Well, put the cat out of the rain. Where was it? Out in the spring house. I appreciate you putting it back like that. That was real nice of you. You know, a good deal like that deserves a good great. reward. That's really great. great. Oh, he gives you one. Actually, you deserve more than that. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. It's <laughs> actually funny. Y'all hurry back. Yeah, just give me one paw penny. All right. No, no, no. He give you Did 15. That. Check. That's done. Wait, Amber, you sent Grant a card? Am I reading that correctly? No, 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 no. No, she's ordering cards to play. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was crazy. You lost half your life points. Hey, thanks for fixing the phone. You didn't miss much on the chase. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get good weather. Safe with a cheese. Well, that's the brakes. Hey, you know, since oh, you're so not this. Uh uh. Things, why don't you fix the TV? Oh. I think we've abused it enough. It's not getting any picture. That's it for now. Have fun. Not this. I actually don't like this puzzle. This is probably a candidate for my favorite puzzle. Fuck me. Scott Varnell. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like that to uh, just... I would absolutely love it. Uh, okay. <sighs> Are we doing the reds? Okay. What? I said you're doing the red. I think the red is correct on there. No, that's not right, actually. Oops. That's not right, either. Is it? I'm literally looking at a walkthrough because I'm not doing this. That's very bad of you. You're being a real Android. Right? Sorry. Oh fuck, I'm getting hot. Oh. oh wait. I'm always hot. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh my god. You love me. Not as much as you love yourself. <laughs> you egoist. And then, there you go. Okay, next. And on that goes, okay. While you're doing this, I'm gonna take a moment charge my headphones some more. Okay, mm -hmm. leave me again, I guess. Okay. See you soon. Alright.
something's not right. I have, in fact, been streaming for over three hours. And, yeah, as Grant said, not my longest stream. I think my longest was, I think, Waverly. Because the first 20 minutes, I think, or 30, was, like, literally just technical difficulties, I think. But that one took me a while. Sorry, Message in a Haunted Mansion is not the best Nancy Drew game. Even you know that. You prefer Treasure and Royal Tower, so... Sorry, but it's true. The fuck am I messing up, though? I thought this was... Correct. Nope. I think, um, what? Okay, uh, I am not in the mood. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Hold on. And now, finally, okay, on to the blue. There are games better than dog and there are games that are not better than dog. That's what I have to say on that. It shows a clear fire plan. 
God, I wish that were me and Scott. That's the footage from Frosty's camera. I'm sure of it. It did record after all. I think it's a lost cause, Nancy. It's permanently broke. Bummer. Well. Hey, Nancy, whoa. Never seen that look on your face before. You've been secretly selling tornado footage to someone, haven't you? Uh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. You've been shooting stuff for the team, but selling it on the sly, using the box under the yellow rose bush by the barn as a drop point. That's how you got all those scratches on your arm. And Debbie not only knows about it, she condones it. I overheard you two talking out in the cornfield. Or should I say, conspiring. You two are trying to get Scott so frustrated that he finally blows and says or does something that will force the college to let him go. Nancy, do you have any idea how crazy you sound? What I don't know for sure is whether you two are also responsible for the other stuff that's happened around here, like the hose in Pete's car and the equipment failure and the mouse infestation. Hmm, guess I'll just have to tell Scott everything and see what he thinks. Okay, look... I don't know why you feel like you need to stick your big fat nose where it doesn't belong, but all I did was sell some pictures and footage to this girl I know who's trying to make a name for herself as a nature photographer. Legally, all the stuff I shoot belongs to the team, but that's totally unfair, and Debbie agrees. She knows how hard it is to get a good start, and she looks the other way. Don't be upset with her, though. She's just trying to help. But when it comes to all that other stuff, I had nothing to do with any of it, and neither did she. I promise you. So there's really no reason to tell Scott any of this, right? I guess not. You're a fine lady. Oh, and that big fat nose thing? Kidding. <laughs> so, uh, how are those cloud pictures coming? Actually, I'm having problems finding Cirrostratus. You know, if you head on out to the Fraser Creek windmill, I'll bet you anything you'll get your picture. Weather conditions for Cirrostratus should be perfect right now. In the meantime, I gotta get back to work. See ya. Busted. What's up? Frosty told me that he's been secretly selling his footage and that you're helping. He said that, did he? Well, that's not exactly something you need to worry about. Yeah, maybe you're right. I am right. And besides, we've got bigger things on our plate than what our photographer does in his spare time. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Okay. That's done. Haven't done that. Oh, okay. Time to turn in, Nancy. Oh, is it? Okay. Let me just say goodnight to Scott. Mwah! Hello, Nancy. Ooh. I don't want to upset him, so... Bye. I'll quit bugging you now. Fine by me. No, it's not. You're just playing hard to get. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, perfect timing. We've got a couple target storms ready to go critical. We need to get out in the field now. You'll drive. Scott and I are going to be tracking the storm. Okay? Ready? Yes, let's go. We've got two, maybe three possible targets out there. All right, good. That's what I like to hear. Tell me what we're looking at. We got word. That did not just happen. Fuck you. Fuck you. I didn't even. Interrupting Scott Varnell. Got word that the northmost cell okay. is already throwing some pretty sizable hail. What does my cat want? That's not the system. I'm excited about anyway. Right. We go west. It's a longer drive, but there's some good movement high out of sheer. Perfect. From what I've been hearing, Brooks' team has been saying they already got six confirmed touchdowns and two good reads on supercells that didn't spawn. Oh my God, where? How did I get here? Please. She's a number inflator if there ever was one. Six people confirming one. So where am I going? Is not six confirmations. We really could use a nice data set on a non-tornadic supercell. Maybe she'll share what she's got. <laughs> now that's an idea. 
Why didn't I think of that? Brooke, it'd be really cool. I fucking love that. I mean, them, really, it's just the polite thing to do. All right, stay sharp. This system is starting to look yeah, really good. Yeah, aren't they a great couple? Should I drive into one uh -huh. of the uh -huh. for tracking the storms? Uh -huh. Hi, Grant. Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, we got six people yeah. in the chat. Hi, everyone. Do I? Yes. Well, I don't know what the Be going to the windmill? I think so. No! Stop, please! No, no! Great job. I just killed great everyone. Great. Like good news, you're not the first in terror to damage one of the case team's vehicles. The bad news, you are the first in terror to completely. Okay, I'm not reading that. <laughs> well, good right, job. That's not the system I'm excited about anyway. Didn't think so. We go west. It's a longer drive, but there's some good movement. High amount of shear. Perfect. From I thought I was going to the windmill. The team has been saying they already got six confirmed touchdowns and two good reads on supercells that didn't spawn funnels. Six people confirming one storm cloud is not six confirmations. We really could use a nice data set in a non tornadic supercell. Maybe she'll share what she's got. Huh. Now that's an idea. It's your lucky day, Nancy. Since I don't feel like wrestling with the prehistoric Doppler unit, you're going to do it for me. Since Kanuka care less about providing working equipment, we're stuck with this garbage. You're going to have to take care of warming it up since it's about twice your age. You're going to have to flip three switches, one in each group, to get it started. All the lights need to be set to blue before it starts working properly. Remember, the lights won't turn until you activate them. Hey, hold on, what the fuck? Are you actually looking at the fucking walkthrough again or something? Yeah, why? Christ. This is this is piss easy, Meg. That's why. Well, you're pissing me off. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where was it? I think um I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing, but whatever. Just following what this is telling me to do. Cause I am You got it. Getting just flip, tired. Just flip one of the uh the H one. Hmm? Yes. And then in the last uh... Yes. Okay, you now flip them all to blue and click the fucking button. Cool, shit. again. Shoot, we gotta get this back up and running quickly. If those cables get mixed up, it will be days before I can get them resorted. Make sure you keep those cables in order. Don't forget, the top cable goes in the first plug, and the bottom goes in the last plug. And then... It's the blue one. And then... Is it yellow? I think so. I think it's yellow. And then... How are things coming on that Doppler? Is it the purple one next? 
first. Yeah, this one, I think. It's this one. And then... Make sure you're keeping those cables in order. Try working from the top down. Okay. I've never gotten this puzzle wrong. It's so easy. Nice job, Nancy. Looks like we're ready to roll. Actually, it looks like we're out a bit early here. Nothing's developing like it should be. Let's get back to base and track from there. I don't want to follow a bum lead on a system with this much potential. Still have to do that. Nancy, have you seen Scott? Not since we got back. There's a huge okay, front coming in and he's nowhere to be seen. This is not like Scott. If you see him around, will you let me know? Chase and Frosty and I are supposed to be leaving for the Grange soon, and I really need to know that someone is keeping an eye on these fronts. Good job, Meg. You're almost done. Thanks. Brooke's been paying Scott off? You know what? What if I told you this was my favorite song from the game? What would you say to that? I'd be completely okay with it. Yeah? Yeah. Meg, when's the music guessing? What is it? We need to figure that out and figure out who's going to do it with us. It was going to be Ember. Really? You told me it was going to be Ember, but fine. I think I maybe I forgot to ask Amber if she would do that with us. <laughs> I can't remember. Why? It's just kind of sad when I think about it because you know that was something we did with Cheryl, but I think this is right. No. Well, I miss her too, but uh, I don't know. Well, well, I mean, it's okay to miss her. These symbols match Scott's. This must be some sort of code. So does this one. Hmm. These are all of the windmill. That must be where Scott's been meeting Brooke. All right, I'm gonna finish the game. And, oh god, Scott! Christ. Christ almighty. We're almost done. And we didn't even confront Chase about the rod. Oh my god, yeah. You're right, we didn't. Whatever. Nancy, what are you doing here? You mean me, as opposed to Brooke? <laughs> Brooke? What are you talking about? When I was fixing the phone jack, I accidentally overheard the phone conversation you two had. I could hear it through the headset on your desk. And just what do you think you overheard? Enough to know you two are working together. You've been sabotaging your own team, haven't you? You've been doing everything you can to make sure Brooke's team wins and yours loses. That's ridiculous. That's why you're meeting her way out here, so the people who've been looking up to you all this time couldn't see her paying you off. I have never gotten the credit I deserve for the work I've done, ever! I know more about tornadoes than any person alive, and I get neither the respect nor the compensation people half as brilliant as me get without lifting a finger! Why? Because I work for a podunk college run by podunk incompetence bent on badmouthing and spiting me at every turn just because I don't play well with others at their idiotic staff meetings. Why don't you just quit? 
Because thanks to them, I'm considered impossible to work with. No other school will hire me. I'm stuck here, and they know it. So yes, I've been sabotaging my own team. And yes, Brooke is paying me a small fortune to do so, because I've had it. I'm through! <laughs> the tornado's forming. I can feel it. It'll be on the ground in minutes, and it's going to be huge. And here you are, a novice out in the field and all alone. <clears throat> Nancy, please pick up. Over. I'm here. I think Scott knocked me out. He didn't okay, time for Debbie to explain the plot. The team <laughs> the berserk. I can't believe he would do that. And with Brooke Tavanaugh, of all people. Well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you down here at the Grange ASP. <coughs> we need to evacuate the theater, and you've got my Grange keys with you in Frosty's car. I'm on my way. Over and out. This is Frosty's car? You are playing on the track bed. Insane. You can hear it, right? Yep. Yeah. It's been chaos here. I was able to cobble together a pretty basic tracking system back at the homestead, and instantly I knew we were in trouble. The storm was showing a high potential of moving into town, but without the proper readings, we couldn't issue an alert. I knew we'd have to evacuate the Grange in person. But when we got here, we saw that it's locked. The shelter is locked on a performance night. I need you to take care of this while the rest of us work on a backup plan, okay? I'm trusting you here. I know you can do this. There are a lot of people depending on you right now. Okay. What is this now? Who would double- Ha ha! Yes, did it. Nice job, Nancy. I've played the final scene. Okay, now walk out of there. No. Absolutely not. I think the worst has passed. You've never walked out of there? Nancy, where are you going? I have. Get in the shelter! I can't just let Scott get away. Okay, Nancy, Can't come for more bad one. Alright, Debbie. On, you see? Follow that and it will lead you right to Scott. We put a tracker on his truck. It's a safety thing. But Nancy, be careful out there. Keep this radio on and I'll do my best to keep you safe. Nancy... I'm really sorry about everything. Is now the time? Scott, he, he wasn't always like this. I knew... I mean, I was worried about him earlier. His heart clearly wasn't in it anymore. He was putting us in danger. I just wanted to do what's best. That's not what it sounded like when I overheard you talking to Frosty. You two wanted to get rid of Scott. And from where I was standing, you sure didn't sound very concerned about safety. Nancy, I know it probably sounded bad, but there's a lot you don't know. Pete, the intern you took over for? His injury wasn't just an accident. He got hurt because Scott sent him out where he never should have been. After that, I knew I had to take Okay, Debbie! Still no... Looking back, I do things differently. But I did what I did for the right reason. I wanted to push Scott until the world saw how reckless he was being. It was a mistake. I screwed up and I accept responsibility. No matter what happens out there, promise me that you'll be careful. I promise. Finally! I'm coming, Scott. I'm coming. Oh, hello.
Chasing Yanni is still worse than this. Oh yeah, chasing Yanni sucks. It's awful. Once the theater was successfully evacuated, Debbie and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal to the spring house, where Scott and I had safely weathered the storm. Although he was pretty seriously shaken up in the crash, Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. He received community service for destruction of public property and interfering with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a the college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a beast on Greyhound, as they say around here. So it looks like he'll actually be serving the community now, instead of just pretending to. Even if it's just by picking up garbage by the side of the road. Word spread quickly about Scott's misdeeds, and soon Brooke Tavanaugh, the rival chase team leader, found herself out of a job as well. With the storm season almost over, it looked like both teams were out of the competition. Debbie, always the organizer, decided to combine the remaining members on both teams for the remainder of the season. Without Scott's ever-present storm cloud hanging over the team and his constant sabotaging, the team really began to hit its stride with Debbie in charge. Two days after I told Krollmeister I had found the source of the sabotage and the change in team leaders, Debbie's chase team was greeted by a surprise delivery, the next generation of Krollmeister's storm tracking and detection equipment. With Scott out of the picture, Frosty renegotiated his contract. Now he looks that he's better able in purple. to pursue his own projects on the side, he's just True. about doubled his really output. He's launched his own business, and when he's not getting pelted by softball-sized hail, you'll find him in his studio. Chase has given up on his dreams of finding oil. Even if he hadn't, he wouldn't have the time to look. Debbie's keeping him too busy. Free from having to spend his days fixing Scott's mistakes, Chase has finally had the opportunity to show off his keen sense for weather. Now that Debbie has accepted Scott's old position as head of the Canute Storm Team, he's become her right-hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie in her classes in the fall. And when I got home, I found a surprise delivery myself as well. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Coco Kringle Bars. Krollmeister also sent me a note telling me to keep my bags packed. He has a special surprise trip planned for me as a way to say A thanks. trip? As long as it's some Nancy Drew on a vacation? Like long, I'll be happy to go. Quack. While the winners of the Green Skies event won't be determined until fall, things are looking pretty good for Debbie. Grant, you were supposed to say with the new as if. Log the most storm data. As and if. although Debbie won't be yeah. showing anyone until she's 100% sure, the team may have made a verified touchdown prediction. Arf. Yesterday, a postcard from Pa arrived. After the town repaired the storm damage to the Grange, they restaged the town play. They even added a new part about the storm, including a scene where a certain someone unlocks the storm shelter. As long as it wasn't played by Pa in a wig, I'm happy. Pa says that he remembered most of his lines this time. At least you're so right ones. on that, Iris. For me, so right. Well, I've had just about enough stormy weather for yes. one season. Love, Nancy. A tire swing. It is a tire swing. I'm tired of swinging. Looking on the bright side, acing the quiz. Repeated touring of the what planes? All right. Uh, good for me. After risking my life chasing down deadly twisters, I think it's time for a change of pace. I've decided to join Bess and George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. I've always wanted to visit Japan, from the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. 
as a thank you for all of my hard detective work, thank you, thank Agent you. Kohlmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best real cons, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the Ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. And you say ghosts aren't real, Grant. They are. Join me in my next adventure. That's the point of Shadow, Shadow at, the at the water's edge. It doesn't need to be real to be okay, okay. Oh my god, my pictures! <gasps> Who's gonna be there? I. Oh yeah, please, come on. Please, 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 please. Where's the hand one? Come on. Give me the hand one and then I'll end this. I was I was junior. Oh my god, it's the hand one! Yeah, I love- I love my task list. I love it. There's a few, uh, games that I always play on Senior, though. <laughs> this Scott montage! <laughs> I didn't know this would be an boss. Oh my god. <laughs> Did it just zoom in on his face? Is that what happened? Yes. <laughs> Oh man. Well, Ladies look at that. Hardy boys, the trademarks of Simon and Schuster. <coughs> look at me exposing my DMs with Grant again. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not even, you look can't even see post. anything. Really? Oh, look at the post that I sent you on stream. You sent me something? Like, like, do you want me to show it on stream? Sure. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I know, right? Another update to the shrine of my husband, Annie <laughs> Marsh! What even? <laughs> what a stream! See, but, but I love spending so over four hours difficult. with you, Grant, I gotta say. Oh man, M mutual. Wow, wow. Aww. I love spending <coughs> hours with you, Nick. Yeah, I am not going to expose my DMs with Lacrell though. That's between me and him. It's but I will just say it's majority majority of it really is just kind of like us doing the the co the whole co-parenting thing, just like kind of going like, all right, who gets the baby this weekend and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes he sends me recipes for smoothies, but then I remind him I'm like, if any of them have to do with yaks, I'm not making it. I'm not drinking that. Okay, guys, you have one minute to send Meg anything in DMs and she'll show it on stream. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not... I'm not doing that. Mm. Mm. Are you? Mm. Uh, I have one from Amber, but I'm not opening it. Because I don't know what she said and it could be private. Open it on your phone and check. Okay, fine. Okay, there's Iris. There's Iris. She said, oh, I wish I could say what she said out loud. But I can't. I'll tell you guys after, though. What did Iris say? Anything. She just said anything. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Okay, we have been on for four hours and six minutes. Love it. And there goes salad. 
What did you say? Do you want me to play this? <clears throat> I don't even know what it is because I'm on my phone checking. You want me to show our messages? Fine. All right. There's no going back. She's sending me a virtual hug. And then she said, another grand spelling error. How is he so bad at typing? <laughs> That's what she oh said. This is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> I mean, as always, is the master. Amazing. Okay, well... What now? Anything you guys want to say before I end the stream? Thanks for the company, Meg. Uh, Thanks. Really no, thank job. you, Grant. Thank you. It's always just so much more, like, fun, honestly, when you're around. You're, like, the the mascot of my channel, you know? You're, like, the Dylan Carter. So. Wait, okay, Salad Salad wants to do something. Play the voice clip from our, our DMs. Is it safe to even show our DMs? Did we say anything like private? Oh, you send okay, 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 sure. Sure. That's what I, that's just what I was worried about. Oh, look at that. It's oh my god, it's me! It's Grant's face! Guys, it's Grant's face! <laughs> Look! Aw, he's gone. Okay, so what you want me to play? Look, okay. This is what I'm playing. Bye! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Who was that? Bye! Wait, was it, is that you? Or is that a Nancy Drew character? I don't know. Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Hold on. I don't know. Okay. <coughs> It sounded like Ned to me. Salad, who is that? Hi. Wait, no fucking way. Hi, it's me, Scott Varnell. <laughs> From Nancy Drew. Trail of the Twister. Wait, that's you saying bye, Salad? Oh my god, like I was like, actually, why do you sound like Ned? Because I was like, who do you sound like? You sound like Ned. <laughs> Okay. Sorry I kept replaying it. I, le I legit thought it was Ned. And Grant is just, again, being the best wigman ever. This might be just the greatest stream of all time. Okay. It's nowhere near People keep nice DMing me! <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, Amber sent me something too. Okay. But I can't show our DMs because I can't show what she said beforehand. Iris, there's no way that's Andrew. What? Okay, wait. Salad is still messaging me. What now? Is this another thing? <sighs> okay, am I playing this? No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Oh my god, that's amazing. That's amazing. I'm like blown away. I'm guessing that's for the the thing you guys are doing with Andrew. That fan project. And uh don't say anything you'll regret. I'm on live right now. Anyways. Well, yeah, Andrew asked me to do that with you guys, but I politely declined. Um okay. Okay, Anna's here. I'm gonna go. I have things to do. 
thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had a good time today. Um, okay. Grant, bye. Oh, I bye guess. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye bye bye. I'm ending this. Bye 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 bye.